What's up, Hobby Maniacs? I'm Robbie B, and this is the Hobby Report, your weekly tabletop resource to help keep those hobby muscles strong. Mm, flex on them. <laughs> oh man, how's everybody doing today? We got a we got a new early time. This is the Freestyle Friday. I am the locomotive that's powering the Long War Network into the evening for everybody to watch wherever you are. I guess. Uh, Special shout out to all of our friends over in Europe. I imagine a lot of them are watching us right now and normally are asleep by the time we uh, we broadcast. So, hi. <laughs> Hope it's warmer over there than it is here. It's uh, it's a bit it's a bit nipply, <laughs> to say the least. So coming up after me will be Kenny Boucher. It's a Kenny Boucher sandwich, actually. That's that's the way I love my my Kenny Boucher. I love him in a sandwich. Of course, a gluten free sandwich. So we're, we're doing uh, tortillas and things like that. And then we've got Mr. Jason Craze. Of course, uh, Slow Fuse Gaming will be on this evening, taking us into uh, the wee hours of the night and or morning, depending on where you are there. So lots lots going on here today. Make sure you hit exclamation point gallery. Drop in your work in progress. Any models you have a question on technique or maybe just you know, some, some Q&A, some showing off, whatever. We'll take a look at it at some it's point. Load letter. What does that mean? No plan painting. Thank you for the follow. That's that's pretty much that's pretty much explains all the painting I do here. No plan, no plan whatsoever. Now I mentioned it. It is cold. I have the uh, the dragon cat shirt on today. We're uh, we're breathing fire. We're trying to stay warm up in here. So it's uh, the plate is real here in North Carolina. We're supposed to get dumped on. Of course, everybody's going to lose their mind. So it's. It's going to be a good time. I can't wait. Woo! Look at all these crazy people. Uh, so like I was saying, we've got the network going here today. Of course, if you want to simul watch, multi-stream, whatever it's called, myself and Keylime Prime, you can hit exclamation point Keylime. And there's a way to watch us both in the internet TV lands out there. So check, check that one out too because Chris is on. Uh, right. I think he's on right now. I don't know. Forgive me, Chris. I wasn't watching you because I was getting ready for my own stream, but I'm pretty sure he's on there. Now, uh, a little bit of paperwork before we get started on Mr. Karn, Mr. The Betrayer. We we have a couple Three, things. Two, one. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? <laughs> well, well, we're getting there. Sapper Steve, thank you for the donation. So, a little bit, that was perfect timing actually, thank you. <laughs> uh, so a little bit about uh, the donation schema here at Spiky Bits. What's basically happening is uh, I took a look at over the past week and I was like, you know what, I can do this better. Let's do this better. So what we're gonna be doing is of course uh, our, our normal giveaways. Uh, all the new releases, you know, we'll try to give away to everybody as they come out. But as you know, we're in a little bit of a, a, a new release rut. There hasn't been stuff uh, for Games Workshop or really anybody for that matter to come out in a while. Now, at the end of the month, we will be raffling off the Porphyrion Titan on January 30th, so you can always use your cat naps for that. Now, let's uh, let, me, let me press the magical buttons here. Boom! So first off, we have a top donor giveaway, which Sapper Steve is currently winning. That is for a uh, squad of plastic custodies. The ones out of the uh, Prospero box, great, great miniatures. I'm sure there will be some, some more on them uh, when the Heresy new Heresy book comes out. Uh, and who knows for 40k, really? I mean, sky's the limit. His Markness, thank you for the host. So we've got the Echo one, and of course those catnaps don't. You know, you, you always keep your catnaps here. Don't worry about that. Uh, and we're actually. Keeping an eye on the catnaps pretty close. We had a couple people said they didn't get them and uh, figured out a couple of things, made some tweaks. So hopefully there's no more issues with those. So top donor giveaway, you always get your catnaps. Now, if we hit the $250 donation mark today, we're going to give that back to you guys by letting you pick one of these fantastic cat boxes. Um, and trust me, there's good stuff behind here and not poop. Even though for the most part, poop is funny. Let's face it. But let me show you, and then I gotta I gotta shuffle them because I know you guys are gonna be smart and be like, wait a minute, I know it's one they're behind. So first off, there is a Knight Atropos Forge Roll kit in here to be given away through a raffle. If somebody gets 
the chance to come in here and pick a cat, any cat. Then we also have a $150 Horus Heresy 30k prize pack consisting of uh, plastic kits with some uh, weapon upgrades and things like that in resin. And also a $150 Space Marine prize pack. So one of these will be won today through a giveaway if we hit $250. Now, I, now I got to shuffle these around because I know you know which one they're behind. We can't go cheating now, can we? So I think this is going to be a pretty fun way to do some giveaways here on the channel and give some of this awesome support back to you all. Along with the top donor giveaway and a monthly super giveaway, like I said, the Night Porphyrion. Uh, where are they? And I have a backup prize too, just, just in case we actually go through all of these. Well, it'll be raining. Let, let me just put it to you that way. Alright, so we're going to move these around here. I'm doing it invisible like. We're doing it stealth. Stealth pattern. Does this remind you of anything? Is this, uh, does this remind you of a game show from back in the day? I, it does for me, at least. Let's make New a deal. High what does high score mean? New high score oh, no! Bad. What does that mean? Oh, no. We didn't see it. All right, I'm going to trigger that again for Yuri. Hold on one second, bud. That was actually a one-of-a-kind. Well, sort of a one-of-a-kind. That was our top Twitch alert. And, of course, nobody saw it. A million apologies there, bud. Okay. Let me go in here. We're going to do it again. Here it is. Assume the position. A new high score! What does high score mean? New high score. Is that bad? What does that mean? <laughs> That's one of my favorite quotes from the Grandma's Boy. Oh, my gosh. If you haven't seen that movie, you should probably stop watching me and go watch it right now. Because I literally... I get a lot of jokes, let's face it. But I... I laughed so hard watching that movie, I fell out of my freaking chair. Like, that's how good that movie is, if you're into, like, kind of, you know, stoner humor, I guess. But I guess I am, even though I'm not a stoner. The internet says I am, but I am not. So that's what that is all about right there. Of course, we have all the normal uh, giveaways and things going on throughout the month. You get a cat nap just by watching... All three hours of our show, which I realized today that I, I actually have been hooking you guys up because if you tune in, tune in and our 30, 30 second or 30 minute countdown, you're getting a, a free half a catnap almost right there, or 0. 0.6 catnaps, whatever. So y'all been y'all been working me. I didn't even realize it. I didn't, I didn't put those into my calculations. You can also score catnaps by uh, donating five dollars, and of course that all goes back to the prizes and everything, uh, the raffles and the giveaways we do here. So. Uh, we got a, a little bit of show and tell for you guys today, because let's face it, painting trim sucks. I did all my homework during the week since our last stream, and I finished all that up. I want to show you guys some techniques today on Karn, but I don't want to go too deep into it. Like, I mean, painting like bone, just anybody can do that. Like, how? Yeah, I want to show you guys some stuff that you can take back to your hobby arsenal and add to your uh, hobby toolbox there. So we got a look. We got some uh, some show and tell stuff someday. Some new bases just came in hot, so that is going to be pretty dope. Oh, speaking of coming in hot, thank you, Yuri, for that donation. Um, I'm glad I got to uh, play that meme twice. That was that was pretty fresh. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. And of course, we we got some other stuff to talk about. So let's jump into the paint cam here. Paint table, paint table, and it's working. All right. There you can see the uh, Porphyrion up in the top left. We'll be giving that bad boy away on the 30th, so save your catnaps, or don't, whichever. <laughs> Move this down a little bit. Alright. Mm -mm. So what's everybody working on today? I know it's like middle of the day here in the U.S., Moon and Mace. Thank you for the follow. Alright, we will get... Well, let's check Let's check the comments right now. Why well, I can read them. Scarlet Horror, first time I caught you. Nice early time, loving it. Yeah, yeah, that's for you Euro European folks. I am the Long War Locomotive. 
Just call me the little little Robbie B that could. <laughs> uh, yep, Key Lime's on right now. Hit exclamation point Key Lime to find out more how to keep an eye on him and me at the same time. The veins on the arms, please. Uh, you know, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. You know, my, one time my friend, he was like, yo, how do I get big, bi big hobby biceps like you? And I was like, Kenny, all you got to do is paint all the time, man. It's that, it's that easy, bro. I, I can show you. I'll show you. <laughs> uh, this morning when I... Hoodsgate says this morning when I painting I streamed 20, 27 of your YouTube videos. I had so much Rob today. Oh boy. It's like a, it's like another Rob sandwich up in here. Well, thank you for watching those. Next level painting is in the house. He says he was trolling Warhammer TV. Uh, well, you have to pay them money to troll them because you have to pay to comment unfortunately over there. So I I hope uh, I hope the money was well worth it, Kenny. PS, I'll show you how to get bigger biceps later. Uh, Scarlet Horror says, I'm assembling Perturabo's Bodyguard Automata from Forge World. Fantastic. I have two of those, one of those. I think I have a Domitar and the dude with the hammer and the shield, and I'll probably never get to it, to, to assemble it. Viking Teabagger is working on them tra tree peoples. Word. 11, 11 here in South Africa working on Karn as well. Okay, cool. Way too big to drive to the devil's house. <laughs> drive, monkey, drive! Stay Stealth came in with a $4 donation. Thank you, my man. He's you really didn't have letter. to do that. What does that mean? Uh, Arg Argery Engine? Argery Engine? We'll go with that. Thank you for the follow. Actually, you really didn't have to do that, Stay Stealth. I owe you for this paint that you just picked up for me because I opened up one of my pots. And uh, and I was like, oh, it's completely dried out. I like need that like right now. And he happened to be up at the game store and brought it to me. So thanks, bro. Uh, I have a hammer and shield combo. I will keep you updated, buddy. Word. The joke's on them. They weren't ready for this. I mean, who is ready for a Kenny Boucher? Let's be honest. Uh... Your in, in EU time zone stream shockers. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, it's all good. Watching me at work. I'm telling. Granites, thank you for watching. Thank you for keeping this country safe. For us to sit at home in the cold. I'm surprised they haven't closed down base yet. It's getting crazy out there. All right. Let's do some real work here, shall we? What's what the? is the internet <laughs> the internet is a communications tool used the world over where people can come together to bitch about movies and share pornography with one another ah <laughs> oh, so good so good the best part was that movie came out in 2001 and man let me tell you what where's my stream who 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 what awesome person just made that donation i must see there we go all my windows are all over the place trying to there we go, Trajan811, thank you for the donation. Keeping it real while working, yep, I feel you. Uh, now, I don't, oh yeah, we do have the top two in here right there. Looks like Yuri's definitely going to get those custodies. Word. Alright, let me show you some stuff real quick. It's painting time. Had to adjust this a little bit. Get in here and get in my... Assume the paint position. Here we go. All right. So first up, I haven't really done any features on this bad boy, so I wanted to show them to you guys. I don't know if you've been tracking. This is my this is my fat man's. This is the uh, um. What is this guy? I don't even know. Stone Lord. He's the Stone Lord. And I painted him up with like some dope like ice effects on his horns right there. And then he's got like the ice spear. He's uh I'm doing my part. Hmm. I'm doing my part. Hold on one second. I'm doing my part too. Be good four four. Thank you for the follow. Anyways, this I 
I'm hearing audio and I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from. Sorry for the distractions. I think it might be downstairs. I think there might be somebody outside the windows. They've been like crazy like getting the apartments ready here. Alright, anyways. So here he is, the Stone Lord. Or the Frost Lord. On some custom Alaric bases with snow. We're going to get the this tutorial actually recorded. We'll get that out relatively soon, I hope. I'll put him back over here. Because uh, I think that's a, definitely this time of year, really a good tutorial to be getting out. Alright, so we're getting back to Karn, finally. Now if you're here on the Monday night stream, which was the very first time I was painting, uh, we had a little mishap. We painted him, we did some pre-shading with this gray, and then we hit him up with the Forge World Clear, Angeron Clear. So it turns out, this is actually a magenta. So we went, we, we went a little pink, we went a little pink, and it happens. But uh, we fixed it. We came in hot with some uh, with some Tamaya Tamaya red, Tamiya red, clear, and fixed it all up, and then hit it with a Reichlin flesh shade gloss. So we're pretty much to the point where it's all shaded by now. We just had to go in and do all the trim. And here it is, right here. You can see that we've got all the trim done, and I went ahead and did the bone. Now. This little piece right here, this little piggy, these cables, power cable things, whatever makes it breathe fire out of these backpacks right here. This is actually this dope color that Kenny probably put you guys onto and put me onto it too. I didn't even know. I mean, I knew they were out, but I didn't know how good they are. This is that tire black hotness, right? From Secret Weapon Miniatures. Oh, there's a bunch of... Let's see. Oh, thank you for getting to that. Yeah, if you want to check out how to get your own catnaps, just hit exclamation point donation, and it'll tell you exactly how. Now, this tire black right here is a, is a dope, dope, dope color. Because what it is, is basically appreciated, almost like a coal with like some, some green in it. And it goes really good with anything that's got purple in it, which of Get course, one, red's got some purple in it. Egg roll 2174. I don't know what the 2174 is, but I, I, I used to love me some egg rolls. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Let's get some uh, lubrication going here. Got a little beast juice mixed up for this, uh, this session here. It is cold, cold, cold outside. All right. So we did those cables with that, and what's really nice about this is that you can shade this with a black, and it'll actually shade itself, but there is a shade to it, and I'm going to show you that today, too. And then here is where we're at on Mr. Betrayer, Mr. The Betrayer. Bloodbeard, thank you for the host. I actually don't know how to say your first name. I know who you are in real life, though, if that counts. <laughs> You're one of the few people I know that are, uh, that are actual Twitch handles in real life. All right, so here he is right here. We're going with a kind of like a an, an OG feel to him. If you've ever seen any of the Kev Smith artwork from back in the late 90s, early 2000s for Karn, or like, I, I, I guess it would be more, yeah, like colored in art, not like design sketches from Jess, but this is, this is a very true, I feel like. This was my vision for Karn. In the beginning so we're starting to like highlight up some of the blues and some of the the plasma coils here and then i did some of the work but i wanted to finish up some of this work for you guys on stream just to show you how some of the bl the brush control works and to to work smarter not harder on your miniatures so to speak now the the blue that we used here is an exile blue it's part of the recipe i actually got from kenny believe it or not because he has some dope, uh, some dope blues. You work up Exile to um, Arcane, and then or to Meridius, and then up to Arcane, right there. And that's uh, really good for plasma glows and such too. But we're going to use it today for the uh, uh, plasma and the little tassels, so to speak, right here. 
So we've got all the trim done. Now it's all about going in and doing the different effects. And I, what I'd like to show you guys today, hopefully if we have time, because we're going to hand the stream off to Kenny at 6.30. So in that three, two, one. Is this a 5 o'clock free crack giveaway? Well, that was perfect timing, my friend. Yep. Thanks for the donation, Kenny. Yes, he will be on in three hours. 3.30. Way too big to drive to the devil's house. Drive, monkey, <laughs> drive! Warkov, thank you for the donation as well. I'm not sure if it does split split catnaps. Let me know if that showed up. Um, and send me a whisper if it didn't, and we'll fix it. I'm not sure how that works. Anyways, yep, so like I said, I am the Long War locomotive. We're chugging through the night. We're going to drop this stream over to Kenny at... 6.30 my time, 3.30 Pacific, because Kenny's living in the past, let's face it. If you're on the Pacific, you're, 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 like, you're, like, in the, you're like behind. All you folks over in Europe, you're like time travelers. You're in the future. I'm just chilling on the East Coast doing my thing. I am really bad at painting, actually. It's funny because one of my friends came out, moved out to Colorado when Kenny was living there. He was like, yo, man, have you ever heard of Rob Bear? And he's like, I don't know who Rob Bear is, but I know, I know who Kenny Boucher is. And he's like, oh, you got to, like, meet this guy. And then it turns out, like, you know, years later, we actually met. We're actually pretty good friends now. Who knew? Long story. That's the magic of the American military. All right. So we're going to get in here. We're going to do some work now. Oh, let me say hi to everybody in the stream. All right. We got looking great. Thank you, Viking Teabagger. Flex on him. The Beast Claw Raider is so damn frosty. Thanks, man. I know you're playing them now, too. Mm -mm. Uh, Stay Stealth is letting everybody know what Fable is all about secretly. Not secretly if you live here. Looks like everybody's watching from work. I won't tell. I'll tell Chad's boss, but I won't tell anybody else. Uh, Hoodsgate says, if you're doing some questions, yes, love to help. I am trying to debate between the Iwata Eclipse CS or the Iwata HPC Plus. I don't know what the HPC Plus is, but I do know the Eclipse CX is pretty amazing, uh, to be quite honest. I would just go with that. I have not found a better brush. I found comparable brushes, but nothing better. All right. Keep the Black Templar Army. Rob Bear taught me how to paint, so you know it's good. Mostly good. 50% good. We're uh, we're semi-pro. We just gotta hit for average, right? That's all. That's that's how you do it in baseball. That's how you do it in hobbying. <laughs> all right. So let's talk about some stuff here. We've gone in. We've done all of the all of the gold. I want to show you guys this sweet tire black <clears throat> color because I feel like it's a really good color that you need to be on and uh, Kenny has showed it to you many a times and be quite honest I don't trust these secret weapon uh, paint pots I try to always dab it out from the bottle and sometimes it's just not possible there we go this is a little, maybe maybe mine's just a little thick. I haven't put a bead in it yet. It could be that it's not normally this thick. But it does seem to be a little thick, so I'm okay with that. So you just got to use a little bit more water. Now let me, um, I'm going to show you guys. There we go. So I don't really do the whole wet palette thing. I, I usually have a paper towel that's slightly moist that I, that I, I guess the fact that I rinse my brushes so much. So using this piece of construction paper as a palette as well. Just want to mix a little water with it. I hear thinning your paints is good. I don't know where I heard that from, but I definitely heard it. So it might be a real thing. So that's what we're doing right there. All right, now this is the Artificer brush from Games Workshop, which is comparable to the uh, miniature 
Lowell, what is it? A uh, Windsor Newton Series 7 miniature brush, the number one, I think it's called. Might be the number one. But so I've abused the crap out of this. I painted a whole o ogre army, and by a whole army, I mean uh, like 11 models. And I was super rude to this brush, and it keeps hanging in there. And what I like about this brush is it's very easy to get a cat hair on it, apparently. It's very easy to make a, uh, a point with it and get in here and do the fine work, but it's also just as easy to use it to do some like straight base coat and everything. See what I mean? Like that's a great, it's a great point. Now what I, why I wanted to show you guys this, why I was saving this for you, was I wanted to show you proper technique as far as you always want to pull the paint towards you. If you're pulling the paint towards you, it's the easiest way to maintain control. So always move the model and not your paintbrush and your, your brushing angles and things like that. And you'll find that over time, just a lot of practice, I mean, it's all about practice. You'll be able to control your brushes a lot better, your brush strokes and everything like that. I mean, it's all muscle memory, right? Now, I have my elbows braced on my, on my chair. And where applicable, I use my pinky to brace in here as well. Yeah, Kenny says that this is the only paint that needs a really hard shake. Well, um, spoiler alert, this is the only secret weapon paint I've used so far. So, it is a little thick, but I love it just the same. Just like all my other cats. And then we're going to flip this around and get in here at this weird angle. Because what I envision for this, uh, what I envision for this axe is like a, uh, kind of like a demon kind of glow kind of thing so I'm gonna use the highlight for this color I think it's actually called like rubber highlight or something yeah rubber highlight and I'm gonna get in there and highlight this but then I have a sneaky suspicion that I'll have to use some of those p3 paints that I just showed you that I'm gonna use on his tassels and things which is fine because it's all gonna tie it together even better you know what I mean oh, I just went over that's okay so this is just kind of giving you an idea of just like control. Now, don't get it twisted as you just saw right there. Sometimes you're just going to make mistakes. You're just going to have to go in with the base color and fix it. But like I said, all of these tight spots, when you have a really good brush, you can get in here and you can do the Lord's work with that tip. As long as you keep your paints pretty thin. And then down there, those two silver spots too, we're going to hit that as well. This is a great paint. I really enjoy this tire black. Now, we have an extra set of these to give away at some point on here. Which we'll probably do going forward into the month because I imagine streaming three times a week we're gonna we're gonna blow through some cat boxes for giveaways especially when all that Fall Acadia stuff comes out <clears throat> how's that music level guys is that okay for everyone been trying to adjust things on the fly today Now here, because really hard to get in here, I'm going to use my pinky. And don't be afraid to use your pinky. It doesn't mean you're fancy. I'm not a fancy man. But don't be afraid. Got to try new things. Got to try new colors. That was the whole point of this guy was to try some new stuff. But also, I kind of feel guilty because I never painted Karn when he came out. And I actually started with, uh, with Korn back in the day. And truth be told, I think it was like 12 bucks back in the day. I just didn't have the money to buy them when I was a kid. You know, I was like, yeah, that's a lot of money. I basically somehow managed to get a box of the old metal Terminators. I don't remember how. But I could never seem to get Karn. And then he just was never on the, just never on the list to get. Until this new plastic one came out. And I was like, alright, let's do it. Now, music is too quiet. Oh my goodness. 
tragically low. Woo. We can't have that. There's no tragedy in Hobbian. Only happy accidents. All right, let me know now on the music. So now this uh, this little power power cable power power whatever power I don't care what you are. We gotta create some contrast here. It's just too much metal up here. It's just not gonna happen. Just not feeling it. Gotta get in there. We gotta create because remember this is all gonna get brought up, and you know we're gonna put some blood splatter on here at some point whether it's today or Monday. I hope to have this guy finished up Monday. Whatever we don't finish up today, we're gonna finish up on Monday. I'd like to show you how to do some basing. So maybe some desert basing. Got some secret weapon bases. My go-to for uh, for my Chaos Forces. And uh, I'm gonna jump in there. Hit that up. Show you guys all these tools to add to your Hobby Arsenal. Use maybe use, even use some tufts. Show you a good way to put tufts on. Tufts are what's up. Like if you're not using tufts, you really should. They're great. Love us sound good in California. Well, that's all that matters. California might be the only place it isn't ridiculously cold right now. Well, that in Europe. <clears throat> it's all about keeping... This is such a thick paint. It really is. Um, George, what, uh, what metal, the gold or the, the, uh, I guess, actual metals? I guess it could be either. Which one are you talking about? The silver. <clears throat> Make sure you hit exclamation point gallery. Drop in your work in progress or anything you want advice and or accolades for we'll take a look at those in here in a little while like I was saying we have the new cat box giveaway as well up there every $250 we do a raffle for your, <laughs> your very fateful choice of which cat box to choose behind it could be a night atropos or it could be a $150 Horus Heresy prize pack of miniatures of resin and plastic, as well as $150 Space Marine, Space Marines prize pack as well. I will be restocking those. Uh, Monday will be the Armored Assault giveaway. We'll have a bunch of armored assault boxes in there for anybody trying to bone up on their allies or perhaps their uh, dirty, dirty Xenos factions. Everybody knows the orcs are the best. But feel free to ask any questions. Make sure you hit at SpikyBitsTV. Flag me down like a taxi cab on New York City Street. I'll do my best to answer everything. We'll get to some Q&A here in a second. I just wanted to block this out for you guys to show you exactly what we're working with. How good of a color the secret weapon tire black really is. Check all your angles. Check twice, use a color once. That's my motto. I have plenty of mottos, but that's probably one you should listen to. It's 
truly is an exciting color. I wish there was this many exciting colors available back when I started painting. I mean, the struggle in the 90s. We didn't even have the internet, guys. Can you imagine? I don't even know what the internet is today, sometimes. How's that looking? Oh, forgot that. All right, we're gonna do those skulls there and then we're gonna, some of your questions. This is a very thick paint. Be wary, thick paint ahead. But, I like it. You can also scroll down in the uh, Twitch window there and see all of our different commands. I think exclamation point brush will tell you what brushes I like. Exclamation point paints. I'll tell you which paints I favor. Everybody's got their own. Kenny actually came out today with a really good airbrushing video. I think it's in the Hall of Veterans over on the Long War on uh, Airbrush Hacks Volume 2. How's that? Much better. And uh, it's a great video, actually. His first one's almost got 100,000 views in a year. So I'm sure this one will do just as good. It's a really interesting paint to work with, to be honest. It's it's very it covers very well, but it, it it'll get away from you if you're not careful on it either. It's just a little too thick for my liking. But I'm gonna put a put a a ball bearing in there and shake it up. Shake it up. So there you can see a lot more definition and contrast between them. Now back here on this hilt, I'm actually that's a that's a weird color. You probably don't recognize it. It's almost like a dark flesh of old, dark flesh tilt of old. All I did was I mixed a little pink with, or no, it was pink horror with uh, Bugman's to get that because we're going to wash that down and we're going to actually use some of these pinks to kind of highlight it up because again, kind of keeping with that purple, purple theme to the purple, to the purples, there's all sorts of purple in here so it's going to work out pretty good. Love me some purple. So let me touch up this gold. I know somebody was asking about the metals. I think it was George. This is the gold I was using. It's a Retributor Armor. It's a really nice GW, very thin paint. It almost reminds me of an airbrush color, but you gotta shake the crap out of this thing for real. Like no joke. It'll get away from you. I think I'm gonna put a ball bearing in here too quickly becoming my my go-to favorite now I wanted to use I was gonna use the p3 molten bronze which is very similar to be quite honest but you can mix that with a little uh, shining gold from Reaper and it'll do pretty much the same thing All right, let's find those spots I just messed up now hitting edges is actually really easy to do of course watch watch as I mess it up epic setup Okay, so all you do is you just really come in here and you just kind of use the side of the brush. Yep, I did. Sometimes old people eyes plus small detail plus trying to get you guys that good camera angle does not mix. But fortunately, it's easier to paint dark color back over light color than vice versa. True story. Some of these angles. So we got down here. See you guys talking about board games in there. Yeah, that new Doom game actually looks. The models look fantastic. I happen to see it at the local game store here, one of the local game stores here, and uh, I was really impressed with it. Fantasy Flight, it turns out, is really good at producing things that don't suck. All right, there we go. Looks very shiny in the light, doesn't it? It's gonna be very easy to highlight this. 
and I'm going to go in here and get a little bit of this black. All right, so after we do some questions, we'll go over to the work in progress gallery. So hit exclamation point gallery to find out how to upload your work in progress, questions, anything you might have for us to take a look at on air. You can become part of the show. <laughs> Four Gen Z says, no, I slept in. It's because you're in the future, bro. Gotta want it. <laughs> Time traveling Australians and New Zealanders. Bunch of crazy people sometimes. Alright. Well, you don't have to worry about subscribing to this channel to see our, our old episodes like some other Twitch Twitch TV channels. <laughs> They're always up there, so if you miss anything, you can check it out on here or on YouTube. Alright. Remember, always work harder. Oh, wait, no. It's the other way around. Smarter, not harder. Pull the paint towards you. Check once, check twice, paint once. All right, I think I think we're almost there. Very close. We are very close. Boom. Okay. I'm happy with that. Rinse out the brush. Oh, we got a split end. Nope. Ah, I was just faking. Brush is hanging tough, man. Look at all that battle damage. Just, just doing what it does. Just being a brush. I either got the most ballinest brush in the world, or it's just gonna completely destroy itself here shortly. All right. Go over here. Of course, that shakes everything. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Kenny has a ton of catnaps. You are rich. Rich in hobby love. Hmm. Yuri says, thanks for the advice on battle reports. You're certainly welcome. If you guys have any questions about streaming or whatever, I'll try to be as non-specific as I can. Obviously, there's some things we can't talk about on here, but the majority is pretty easy, actually. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you, John. Cherry Blossom Tea Peoples. Tree Peoples. Yeah, your stuff, is, your stuff rocks. Jesse James is a super good painter. $100, I eat an egg roll. I will not eat an egg roll. I'll do a shot at $100, but I'm not going to do an egg roll. Warkov says he got the full catnap. Well, heck yes. I have painted I have paid candy to paint some of my armies in the past, it's true. Money skiller time, it is all the same. Oh, we posted up one of your models? Cool. Let me know which one it was. Hopping out 
balmy 44 degrees here. Oh, I'll trade you. Instead of internet, we had Doom and Wolfenstein 3D. It's true. IDKFA. Getting set up for your first stream. Painting pretty much set up. It's a good idea to put a disclaimer that I'll be tweaking the channel. Nah, just roll with it. I mean, make I make changes all the time. We just we just came out with a cat box giveaway. You know, like I like to let stuff roll a little bit longer, but just go with your heart, man. Just stay true. Do you know which Forge World has the Forge World book has the Fire Raptor gunship rules? I think the most current ones are in the uh, Imperial Armor Volume Two, Weapons of the Asteptus Astartes. I want to say. They were in the, <clears throat> excuse me, they were in the Imperial Aeronautical, but I think they discontinued that one. Stop staring, I can't help it. Feeling stuck between Ultras and Black Templars for all those Christmas Space Marine kids. Well, black is a tough color to paint. I would not wish that on anybody. Uh, blue is a lot, a lot better. You can actually, that brings up a, another thing I wanted to talk about actually. There's this great book, this great paint guide called uh, Burning of Prospero. I think it's like 20 bucks, but it's got literally how to paint every legion in it, like every one of them. So, I mean, for instance, here it is how to paint ultramarines over black, which seems a lot easier than painting well, here's one on how to paint Dark Angels, which is probably easier as long as you, you like doing a lot of hard line edges, but some people aren't into that, about that life, so you just got to be careful, you know what I mean? But these paint gods are really good. If you got a chance to pick them up, they're like 10 bucks each, give or take. Uh, most, uh, most stores there. All right, let's go check out the gallery. Oh, I'm already in there. That works. There you can see the plastic custodies that uh, Yuri has a stranglehold on. For the top donator giveaway and super cat naps. Oh, there's a lot of work in progress stuff in here. Remember, you just have to put it in once. We will, we will find you. I swear. Approve all these. Approve. Approve. Just try to take one picture if you can. Of most stuff. Usually it's pretty good. Alright. I think that's everything. Remember your training, you will survive. All right, where do we start? Where do we start? I think it was. Hmm, I think it was right here. All right, here we go. Second custom inquisitor. This might have already been in here. Gunsing sixty nine. Oh, there we go. That was the old Peter miniature. I remember him. And of course, this is a lot bigger than it would normally be with paint, but I like the pose. The Death Watch bolter and everything. Might want to tighten up some of the spots in there. Looks like you got a little crazy with the cheese oils on the flash, but uh, it's coming together. Got the scrolls and everything. That looks great. You can always go back in with the uh, darker purple there and hit the uh, hit the innards, so to speak, of the robes. Pop that right off. But I like the color scheme. Definitely works well with the red. And the base is dope too. Great Death Watch scheme. Crooked letter spray brooth upgrade. Noise. Yeah, I got that one. Right next to the window and everything. There you go. 
Got your airbrush up there. Sweet. All sorts of things. Yeah, that's the cool thing about this plastic is you can shine a light through it. I'm actually doing that right now uh, with my setup. They do make LEDs to put up in there. You can get them up in here, but uh, I think that's a separate kit or separate price. Another one from Gunsang. Looks like looks like a Karn. There you go. Mmm. It's like that blue's contagious. Loving it. Looking good. Like how you went with the skulls up there and the, the little antlers, helmet antlers. A lot, a lot of work here. Trust me, I know how much work went in this. The trim. The trim is forever. It's infinity. Alright, but seriously though, we're like in $99. Somebody donate a dollar so I can do a shot at least. Something. <laughs> Kenny just wants me to get drunk, that's all. Alright. Wait, what is this? Oh, Blight Drone. There we go. Oh yeah. Looks like a nice brown with some bone over top of it. I didn't know those could fit on the flight stands. I guess that makes sense. It's been a while since I've seen this model. Very cool. <laughs> That's an old picture. Or somebody needs to reset their camera, huh? This one too. Looks like that same brown. Kind of a harvest brown going with like a diseased flesh kind of look over top of it. Very cool stuff. <laughs> so, uh, Stay Stealth actually sells these. They're a X-Wing token holder. In different colors. You can whisper in him, he'll hook you up with one. I think they're like 25 bucks or something. But they hold all your tokens, they're pretty sweet. It's good for moving around the table when you got a bunch of, uh, stuff to move. And not a lot of time to do it. Who is that? Argory engine. Brand new follower right here. Alright, let's check him out. Got some purple skin. I'm liking that. Goes good with that bone. Kind of like that uh, grayish bone right there. And got some, Oh, gotta have the blood for the blood god all over it. And on a nice uh, textured base right there. Looks like some different, uh, different wing colors there. Like some blue or something. I'm liking it. Very cool. It definitely works. It's kind of like the muted golds definitely looks great. Load letter. What does that mean? There it is. I knew it was gonna happen. Happy mask mater maker. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. All right. Good job, Augury. We got egg roll two one seven four. I get hungry every time I say egg roll. Wow! Look at that. That is a pretty cool Dark Eldar Mans. I like the EVA helmet up there with that that gray, and it definitely works well into your palette that you use there with that kind of muted black gold, black gold, and those dope blues accented with a purple. Very good job. And here's the Venom for it too, I imagine. Yep. Oh yeah, looking fresh. Looks like there's some sort of fade up there around the around the joints in the front. Looking at the middle picture. Here, let me. Oh, can you guys not see that? Hmm. Give me a second. Slide that down a bit. There we go. All right. So that middle picture there just looks like there's a little fade. I like it. Uh, all the control panels and everything done. Skull trophies, In three, very cool. Two, one. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? It is almost a five o'clock free crack crack giveaway. It's like the four twenty-five. <laughs> Scarlet Horror, thank you for the donation. I guess I gotta go uh, go grab some uh, some sort of juice for the show here. 
All right. So, somebody says I need, which may be the case. I'm still working with uh, experimenting with my, my whole mic setup, to be quite honest. Let me see what I can do here. Um, I'm thinking of just going going to a corded setup. I'm using a wireless right now, and it's very not what I want, I guess. Let's see. I have it up all the way. Maybe I just need to enunciate more. Enunciate. Could be it. All right, let me run. Let me run to the little cat room and uh, grab something to drink. I'm actually right here. I've, I, like I said, I have a wireless headset, so <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. It appears like I'm going somewhere, but I'm really not. I'm just stepping out away from the keyboard. Um, hmm. What do we got? Let's do some beast juice. Oh, I gotta get this special, uh, I have to get the special shot glass because, ooh, where is it? Oh no, maybe it's in the dishwasher. We have misplaced the show me your kitties shot glass. That is not, oh, there it is, I found it. It was underneath the hand washables. Don't be a buster. Make sure you don't throw everything in that dishwasher like a crazy bachelor. Sometimes it doesn't all fit. And you have to wash it by hand. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Here we are. In, in honor of Scarlet Horror and a Good Friday, we are doing some beast juice from my good friend James. That was a quick one. <laughs> the inside of the shot glass is dark, so it's very hard to see how much you are pouring or if you're about to spill. I was about to spill. Here it is. The Show Me Your Kitties shot glass from Still One More Name, who's probably at work today. He lives in the Californias, so he is basically living in the past, but I'll forgive him. He's a good guy. Ooh, that beast juice delicious all right we got a couple comments in here let's check it out what do we got get your jagger juice on oh my gosh so <laughs> who's got time for a story it turns out that um i get a little crazy when i've been drinking i, I think we all do so for my 27th birthday we went to this place called the junction in newport news virginia I don't know if it's still there, but it's basically a collection of, we'll say, we'll say bars, loose term bars. And uh, basically, I drank a whole bottle of Jaeger that night. And let's just say that that was not good for my next day. Very much not good. Oh my gosh. I had, oh, it was so brutal. So it's like, it's like that one episode that everybody has with a particular liquor that they're like, I'll never drink that again. Unless it's Jaeger Bombs, they don't totally drink it. That is happening. But uh, man, let me tell you what. Licorice is not my friend when it comes to liquor. Liquor and licorice should be exclusively kept separate. But cactus juice, cactus juice is great. We'll do cactus juice all day, trust me. And the worse, the worse, the more bottom shelf, the better. Oh yeah. Yeah, chaotic okay, couples gaming. Yeah, we went out drinking the a uh, couple weeks ago, and I forgot I was on antibiotics. Don't ask me how I always do this. I always forget all my antibiotics, and I just start drinking. And I'm like, oh, it's great. And then like, I'm like, wow, that escalated quickly. I'm so drunk. What did I do to myself? And then I was like, oh, I was on antibiotics. I'm a big dummy. So pro tip. Don't drink when you're on antibiotics. It intensifies the effect. They also tell me not to go out in the sun, but let's face it, we all know I don't do that. <laughs> all right, let's go back to work in progress. So there's a what, Stelic? Stelic? And looks like a great force of iron armored Imperial Fist in the background and some Mark IVs as well on the left there. 
Very cool stuff. I love the browns. They go great with the yellows. And that gold is on point. The only thing I could say here is maybe just highlight the, the black a little bit. I found this dope mix. I love it. It's I think it's... um. It's by Games Workshop. It's I want to say it's Dark Reaper to Fenris to Rust Gray. Or those three in some sort of order. Which is almost like the old Shadow Gray to Wolf Gray to Ghost Gray from back in the day for Games Workshop. And then Vallejo, of course, has their equivalents. But that is like my go-to now. But Dark Reaper is um i think it's direct order only so it's very hard to find so watch out for that one if you see it in a tutorial or something you might have to special order it oh, hold up that was casual time painting very cool stuff good job buddy no uh no name on this one but it looks like we got what dark angels yep dark angels librarian i like the little circle motif there you are definitely a fan of the first legion Circles within circles, indeed. Um, trying to see what else. Some sort of glowy stuff on the power weapon looks great. Can't really see the back that well, but obviously it's very well done and very well thought out. I feel like. Uh, another one we don't have credit for, but that's okay. Oh, look at that. Deathwing on a custom base with some crazy chains. I like it. Very cool. Looks like a custom Thunder Hammer too. Oh yeah, and some Ravenwing banners in the back. Some sort of Auspex thingy, Omniscope. Digging it. I like how the bone, that, that's that's a great thing. With with bone, and and this is a prime example of a very, a very well thought out Deathwing model. Because if you do Deathwing wrong, it looks like Christmas. You know, with like red and green and bone. You don't want that. Like, this is very well thought out. Whoever painted this is like, hey, I'm going straight red motif. I'm going to use some, some uh, brighter golds. I'm going to work it all in. F the green. We're going with blue. It's not going to look like Christmas. Very well done. And... So Holly 85 with some Ravenwing action. Oh, nice. Very cool stuff. Very well thought out motif as well. Did up the banner very well. And the reds really pop off with the golds and everything. Nothing's too bright or too in your face right off the bat. Is this the G? I think this is the, the new GW bases. It looks great. The only thing I could say here is maybe maybe get, grab you one of those uh, micron pens and get in there and do some uh, do some text on the the banners, the stuff you painted bone color. Even little squiggles go a long way. Squiggles are people too. Remember that. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm digging that. All right. Checking the messages here. You should throw a link to the YouTube video in here for all of you to laugh at. Oh, yeah. We recorded that night when I was drinking. It's a hoot. Um, I think you can post links in here, Zeb. So go ahead and put it in. We are no longer allowed to say uh, Jaeger on this channel, by the way. We have to say licorice juice, which I will never eat or drink. <laughs> ever. In the history of ever. So many memories. So many memories. All right, let's get back to painting a little bit here. Remember, you can always exclamation point key lime to multi-stream us. I'm not sure if your catnaps will stack there, but uh, hopefully they will. We haven't troubleshooted that one yet, so be wary. There may be a disturbance in the force. And remember, if we get to the fantastic $250 in donations today, you will get to pick either a pink, white, or brown cat and get whatever's behind it. Shipped out to you after Snowpocalypse rolls through. Um, there, Drake, we did go out to... Okay, so Chaotic Couples is talking mess. We, we went out to eat. And don't ask me why Drake would have been in Ashland, Virginia. But I swear to all that is sacred that Drake was there. And he was with... 
he was with a member of his posse and he was there at Applebee's. I'm not making it up. He was definitely there. I was not drunk either. I don't get drunk. But he was there. <laughs> he was definitely there for sure. All right, so that is the cat box giveaway. Brand new, hot and fresh. Next week, we will reset this with some armored assault boxes, the brand new new releases, and uh, do a new top donor giveaway because I feel like Yuri's getting the uh, custodies as well. <laughs> All right, let's go do some painting. So, remember, in about two hours, we're going to kick this over. Go home, spiky bits, you're drunk. That's not true. I am home, first of all. You can't talk like that when the lion gets here. <laughs> so in about two hours, we're going to hand this over to Kenny and next little painting. He is the, uh, I guess we could call him the coal car. He's the coal car on the, uh, the, long, war in, uh, the long war train rolling into Friday evening. Here in a cold, cold January weekend. All right, so I feel like next we have a couple different options. It looks like I don't want to waste you guys' time showing you more base coding and things. Although I do want to do more base coding. What I'd rather do is show you all some techniques, like some wash techniques and sort of uh, different things. Put that on the fan and then we'll go and do some maybe some live unboxings or something We've got a few things around around here that I think you would appreciate maybe some future giveaways so I think first off what I prefer at least I always like to do my washes now normally I should probably hit this with a semi-gloss spray like a model master spray or something like that it is a little bit glossy I did mat it down because we had so much difficulties when he was pink getting him back to where he needed to be I really should hit this with a with a semi gloss but in lieu of that i.e. I'm, I'm doing my part I'm doing my part I'm doing my part too Runekin thank you for the follow we are painting Karn and uh, doing all sorts of shenanigans today this is the locomotive pulling the long war train along on here on this friday next up is uh kenny b over at the long uh, over at the next level painting so <clears throat> like i was saying when i do washes i really like to use a chisel tip this is a uh, reaper brush i think i want to say yep reaper pro paint brush it's got a little bit of a chisel tip but when i'm doing bigger surfaces i'll do something crazy i'll kind of option select I'll go in and I'll use this Army Painter one I got. It's a great brush. Sometimes I'll use this, but mostly I use this GW dry brush for just actual drying because I don't hold much faith in this. Not destroying itself over time, to be quite honest. Um, there is, if you haven't heard of this, the, the Master's Brush Cleaner is great stuff. This is a poster tag for quick grabs. But this stuff here will help you keep your brushes in tip-top order. You only need to buy one of these. I think I've had the same one for like 10 years now. So trust me, it lasts. Hey, <laughs> Kenny B and Robbie B. Aw, what's our Hollywood name? We gotta have a Hollywood name. Everybody's got a Hollywood name. And you live in Hollywood, so it's legit. <laughs> okay. So I think we're going to use a gloss. Because I did not gloss these, that means I must use a gloss. So we're going to use this uh, Reeksland Flesh Shade gloss. Okay. And what this will do is it'll actually get... It'll spread out. It'll it'll break the, uh, the viscous barrier and kind of spread out and work its way around. Now, it's not foolproof. PC load letter? What does that mean? I think we just had some some double follows here. So we got. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. Monkey Meeks and Past Pastorev, uh, thank you for the follow. You just earned yourself one fantastic cat nap that you can throw towards uh, all sorts of raffles and things we do here on the channel. Of course, uh, you might see the bar uh, underneath the uh, paint station here. That is for our fantastic new cat nap giveaway. 
cat box giveaway where you can choose one of three fantastic boxes. One might have a uh, Knight Atropos behind it. Wouldn't that be nice? We'll ship that out to you. Okay, so this Flesh Shade. So we're going to go in here over this Bugman's and hit all this up. And I'm actually going to hit just the tips over here. PC load letter? What does that mean? Avatar414, thank you for the follow. We're painting Karn today. Yeah, you, boobs. I don't even know what's going on right now. Oh, War... War... Warbrat. Warbrat. With a B. Thank you for the follow as well. We are painting Karn. Doing shots and uh, other such shenanigans. Preparing for the bad weather. So I'm going to put some of this over the gold too, just because I kind of want to see what happens. And that's, you know, that's what I was, I was actually watching a stream today, uh, Mystic Scorpion. Uh, very new streamer. Well, <laughs> I say that, I say that like that's bad. I'm a new streamer too. But he's new to airbrushing, just bought an airbrush on Monday. He's pretty much an expert now. He's like, hey, look at this tank I airbrushed. And I was like, you're pretty much an expert. Like, are you a wizard? I don't even know. But yeah, I mean, that's crazy. It's, there's so many resources out there. That you can watch. And... Load letter. What does that mean? The po Poquito has now followed us. Thank you, Poquito. I was once called Blanquito by a woman from El Salvador. I don't know what that means. I'll leave it to you guys' imagination. All right. So we're gonna get in here and we're gonna coat this. All this flesh right here very carefully of course I like this is technically a dry brush but we're what we're doing is we're using its ability to soak up all of those juicy wash molecules and just get in here and just just nug it out just get in there and put it everywhere but what's cool about it is it's a chisel, so it's technically a point. So we can go in and we can dab off or whisk away, whichever you prefer. Dab seems to be a, uh, a trigger word these days, depending on where you are and who you are. But you can go in there and you can really dab it off and kind of control what's going on with the wash. Now this is the gloss varnish from Games Workshop. I think it's great stuff. Normally, like I said, I would semi-gloss this whole thing because a lot of it needs to be washed. Um, but unfortunately, that's not happening. So we're going with the next best thing, which is a gloss wash. We're going to get up under here, onto the hand. I'm trying to make sure you guys got a good angle on all this. So we're going to leave that, just let it do its thing, rinse off our brush, and now we're going to look for any drips, droops, puddles, anything unbecoming of a, of a model. And that right there is very unbecoming, we're not, we don't want none of that. Get out of here. Alright. So I'm kind of feeling what's going on right here. Obviously, there's some sort of piece right there that I need to paint coal, but I didn't want to bore you guys with base coating stuff. I literally base coated all of this gold trim on Wednesday night, and I was like, why are you people still watching me base coat gold? It's got to be boring. I'm going to teach you guys some stuff today. I feel bad about that. All right, so there's that. Now... This is the experimental phase, because like I said, you get better as painting as painters <clears throat> by just trying new things, you know? Really, that's what it's all about. So I'm going to do a little of this gloss up in here and see what I can get. See, that, see the effect? And I'm feeling that. Sometimes it's okay to use black, but I feel like with this red, 
this is like pre-made for this because I used this wash on this red, right? So it's already in here. It's already the tone, the tonal palette, the color palette, whatever you want to call it. Like it's in here already. So this is uh, probably a good thing. Right there, you can kind of see the wash going over it, hitting those studs. So now I kind of need to stay away from the metals because this will not work on uh, normal, you know, actual metal, like silver and such. It'll definitely work on gold, as you can see here. Now, would this work on a different, uh, like a, a model if it wasn't red? Mm, maybe not. But, because it is red, I'm feeling this. Because I'm going to come back and I'm going to highlight these edges with uh, like a brighter color. Maybe almost like a silver. And funny thing about uh, a lot of the metals, actually, is metals are a base of mithril silver. So if you ever need to like mix up a highlight to something, for instance, like a gold, just add a little like mithril silver. I actually don't make mithril silver anymore, but I mean, for the most part, you could. I mean, you can use any kind of silver. Uh, plate metal from Army Painter. I guess technically lead belcher from Games Workshop. But add that to a metal color, and it should, in theory, uh, give you the highlight color of it. Now this is going to be a little bit trickier in here, because we're going to get... We're going to probably get... A, I'm just dabbing it now, because this, this detail is so small. If this was a big like tank or plate or something, I wouldn't be able to do this. But actually right now we're just dabbing it and that actually is working pretty well so I'm, I'm tracking on that all right let's get over here let's get this end right here just kind of dabbing it on there a little got down into the, uh, the dark flesh area yeah, and that's, that's why it's so important to have this little chisel because you can just kind of absorb it out and also absorb any spots that uh that may pool blood asp thank you for the follow we are painting karn today and you have earned yourself one catnap which is the channel currency which you can use for our raffles, etc. There you go. You can kind of see all that. All right, I'm not going to do this side because I'm going to let this dry. Actually, let me show you another trick real quick because if we're going to put it under the, the fan, I want to get the full effect for y'all so you can add all those tricks to your hobby arsenal all right let's see and it's funny because I don't know if you can see here let me see if I all right so right down there I know there's a lot of glare that is literally every paint I am using on this project it's kind of crazy that one figure requires that much paint but but see here's the thing and that's I mix paints too. Imagine if you had to buy a paint for each one. Like, you really have to, you know, kind of dial in the effects you're looking for and the things like that. Because I mean, this is this is kind of a ridiculous amount of paint. I mean, granted, there's some sprays in here, but this is a lot of stuff going on right here. And a lot of it's stuff I want to try. Some of the stuff I'm not using, like P3 Golds and such, but it's still pretty dope. All right, so we're gonna do a metal wash and I had a specific mix let's see if we can find it nope not that one here it is so this and you can get these bottles from uh, I think Reaper sells them like a three pack for like three bucks they're just the normal uh, 15 ml bottles that they put their paints into you can also go up on Amazon and buy like a big bag of these things for like super cheap 
and tr you know if you want to put like all of your paint pots into them this is a mix of agrax gnome and a hint of Rexlin flesh the stuff i have here now this is not gloss okay so there's that i like it like i said i probably should have glossed this miniature but that's okay so this is my air quotes metal wash all right and what this does let me get a little water bottle cap is that empty yeah it looks like it and what this does or what this is formulated for is to really get in there and i'm doing my part shade i'm metals. doing my part i'm doing my part too parasail 85 thank you for the follow we're in here painting Karn, Mr. Karn, the betrayer, today. So what this is, is it's, it's actually, um, if you remember Devil and Mud, it's very similar to, a, to what Devil and Mud would be today in today's paints almost. And here you can see it's kind of drying, but we still, have got, we still have got all that definition on our studs and everything like that. Boom. Very good looking stuff. All right. So go back to this mix. And I like to spread it out and kind of see what I'm working with here. This looks like a good wash. I'm happy with this. It's not a glaze. If it was, we would add um, some stuff to this that I'll tell you about at a later date to make it a glaze. But for right now, it's not. So now we have, and you haven't seen this yet, but this little piece right here that actually goes on to Karn. Okay. I think it goes something like that. Somewhere in there. But anyways, long story short, we it's metal and the metal we've used is the plate mail metal from army painter war paints this is their new formula one uh it's great it's a, it's great it's very good coverage uh almost like a wad, almost like an airbrush but not quite so it goes over pretty pretty well over every surface i'm just going to take this chisel brush we're just going to get in here of course I would start higher but my fingers are there and we're just gonna nug it out just get all that wash all over it and grab any pooling flip it over same deal all around the bells here the death bells Good to go. If you want to post any of your work in progress pictures or anything you, it's completely finished or ask any questions, etc., go ahead and do so. It's at SpikyBitsTV in the chat here, or you can hit exclamation point gallery to find the link to post all those up in our community site, Long War Community Site. Next level painting will be following us here at 6.30 Eastern. That's, uh, I don't know, something Pacific. 3.30 Pacific, I want to say. I'm not a chrono expert, chronologist, but I think that's right. There it is. Did it all. I'm going to gently put this down without getting... <laughs> Oh, I got, got it all over my hands. That's okay. Ironheaded says, Stormhost Silver is surprisingly awesome. I have it. I did not use it. Good to know. Normally, my go-to is this right here. Pig Iron. I love this color, but unfortunately... We have a situation. It is all dried out. If I had that, I would be using that. But the P3 one is just as good, trust me. It's good stuff. Now, I kind of want to finish this one up on stream today. Just to give you a, uh, an idea of some of the techniques and things. So we're going to hit all this. Which really isn't that much. Just a couple of vents. You can always use your finger as an eraser too. Just lick it, boom, erased. You have been erased. All right, let's get that flesh shade out. 
do this gold right here. This is going to be tricky because we don't want to get any on the, on the bone right there. Hmm. So this is the Riggs land flesh shade and we're going in there on the gold again now <laughs> because this detail is so small I'm not going to use that chisel brush I just used right I'm going to use the artificer brush because I know I'm not going to be able to control it because it's just it's just too I might be able to we'll try it we'll be daring getting crazy with the cheese whiz up in here 1990s back style. Alright, here we go. Alright, Scarlet Horror. Just let us know if you have any questions or comments. Here we go. Looking good so far. Staying away from Staying away from that bone detail. And I got something special planned for that bone. Trust me. Alright. Boom. Get some dabs in here. Get that detail popping off. looking good happy with it so far now don't get it twisted for that backpack detail I will use that detail brush that's just silly for me to not do that there it is And we're gonna go around the world to the back. Like a crazy European time traveler. Or Australian time traveler. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. Now Gaming Live. Thank you for the follow. We're painting Karn. Yeah, why well, can't you boobs? Polly C85, thank you for the follow as well. PC load letter. Oh my goodness. What does that mean? And Dennis Burden? Burden? Probably messed that one up. I apologize, but thank you for the follow as well. We are all painting Karn today. Right now we're doing some uh, some washes. We're gonna put it under a fan. We're gonna let it dry. Do some show and tell here in a sec. You have also all earned yourself one cat nap, which is the channel currency that you can use for raffles and giveaways that we always have going on here. See the bar at the bottom of the screen that's our cat box giveaway trust me there isn't any poop in it it is there's a knight atropos $150 horus heresy prize pack kits and resin miniatures plastic and resin as well as a $150 space marine prize pack as well nobody wins any of those today we'll change it up and give away some of the new releases next week on armored assault monday the new armored assault boxes that are coming out from games workshop all right so there we go i'm pretty happy with that flush shade detail you can grab this artificer brush get in here and do some
get at that little, little detail because, let's face it, I am not going to use that big fat brush on that. those little, little trim pieces. Now, if you're wondering how you can earn more catnaps, which is the, the channel currency, you get one for following, obviously. You get one for watching the whole stream or any combination therein of 180 minutes. And you can also purchase them for $5 each, which will trigger a really nifty emote, <laughs> as well as a chance for me to do a shot, I suppose. I'll cave the peer pressure all day. Just not when it comes to licorice juice. We're, we're not doing licorice juice. I don't even have any. That's how much. I, that's how. That's how terrible I feel about that. All right. Finishing this up, making sure we get all these little studs and things and knickknacks. Now that it's starting to dry, I'm going back over it. Get that definition. It's really cool how you can kind of see it like happening right in front of you. As you kind of like do the assembly line almost on all the different trim. This <laughs> this car model has so much detail on it. I really underestimated it. If you're a commission painter and some dudes are like, hey man, I, I really want this car model. And at first you think, oh, it's just a character, no big deal. Um, yo, don't F up. It is not just a character. First of all, it's Mr. The Betrayer. <laughs> and he's got a ton of detail. getting Darien going up into these cuts right here because I know when I hit it when I hit it back with that bone shade it'll be fine because it'll be darker and it'll cut over that lighter but this kind of reminds me of like a, uh, a vampire of sorts like a um, Von Karstein or something I'm digging it all right and one last thing before we switch up. Actually, we might take a little break for a sec. All right, we're gonna use this Agrax Nuln Oil and part of just a dab of Flesh Shade wash right here. We're gonna hit this Tire Black from Secret Weapon and it should, in theory, change up a little bit. Because chances are we're probably just gonna have to lightly dry brush that to get it to highlight. Probably should just use a straight black, but that's okay. Mistakes can always be made, as long as we fix them. And the same metal wash going back over that. So there it is. That is the backpack. One last thing to do now. We're gonna hit that bone detail with straight Agrax. Now, like I said, normally I would semi-gloss this with, actually this is lusterless, but you kind of get the idea. This is a Model Master uh, aerosol that is available from most places that sell testers. There's a semi-gloss version of it that will allow you to basically kind of satin your, your model, but it really helps with the washes. So I'm gonna shake up some Agrax Earthshade Gloss because we're using gloss, actually we use gloss either way. But we're using gloss right now definitely because we did not semi-gloss this model. And, hmm, I'm gonna use my chisel brush very carefully, dab it off some. We're gonna get in here and get this bone now. Make sure we don't have too much pooling action. There we go. And 
I'm just gonna draw some of that flush shade down. That's just gonna happen. It should overpower it. You kind of see the def dif difference there, definition. I'm trying to stay away from the flesh shade, but it's possible that will not happen. Get in there and they get in those little divots in the forehead. Is that a cat hair? Rando cat hair alert. I don't know where that came from. Dropping in from the sky. I'm shocked that the cat command center has cat hairs. I'm going to go bold with it, create that definition in there. We're going to come back and highlight. But for right now, we really want to be bold. See what we're doing there. All right, and then like I said, that darkness is gonna get up into the cracks of the gold, so I wasn't worried about that. Make sure I get the skulls right there, because that, believe it or not, eye sockets, whether they're on the face of the model or on backpacks are a focal point. And I feel like I'm good. No, got a little bit right there that pulled out. So a lot of times you want to make sure that gravity's doing its thing. Because if you set it down, it's gonna pull unnaturally to like the front of the back. So like really you want it to kind of pull like this. But you want to make sure that you, you're not having any unnatural pulling, right? So we're going to kind of check real quick. Looks like a little bit right there. And this is the, this is the thing they don't teach you in, you know, the G-Dub mags and all that. They don't teach you to, like, check your work. They're just like, hey, wash it. Well, uh, I need some technique. <laughs> I guess I'll go, I guess I'll go on Twitch. <laughs> all right. Just trying to stay away from that flesh wash. Keep on that bone. Okay. I'm feeling good about this now. I don't have any pooling. I want to get that eye socket though. There we go. Yeah. That's what we want. Right there. Okay. So now. About to combo this. Got my little tack. Poster tack. And it's going to dry the right way, hopefully, for a few minutes. And I'm sure this guy's already dried, but it's looking like it is. So we're going to take a break real quick. Smoke him if you got him. Be back in five minutes. Check the gallery. Check your questions. Sleep like magic. I think I need more poster tack. I'll go find that too on the break. All right, be right back.
PC load letter, what does that mean? Let's try that again. All right, <laughs> we're back. All right, let's do some live unboxings. I got something I want to show you guys. Actually, two things I want to show you guys, and then we'll get to check the comments real quick. Make sure you hit exclamation point gallery so we can check out some of your work in progress stuff. Any questions? Um, my Hollywood, oh, John, John Bingham says, our, me and Kenny B's Hollywood name is Roken B. Roken B. It sounds like a Street Fighter, which is mildly appropriate. Uh, got my beast drink out today. I did. Yeah, why, Kenny Richard May, 1989. Thank you for the follow. Actually, it looks like we got two. Uh, Roger EX. LXD, thank you for the follow as well. You have both earned yourself some cat naps. Spiky bits, Blanquito. Ah, you know what it means. It's true. It's all true. Mixing paints, GW Heresy. Mixing paints is wrong. I don't want to be right. <laughs> Genuine Vision. Good morning and welcome to the weekend. Saturday. Clearly, you are a time traveler. <laughs> What's up? I will check your stream out in the morning if you are streaming the morning here in the normal time. <laughs> uh, Scarlet Horror is probably still painting away. Genuine, Genuine Vision? You're in South Korea? What? I thought you were in like... I don't know, Europe. But alright, my mind's blown. You are indeed in the future. Do you catnaps transfer to future streams and raffles is what Psychotic Jester uh, asked. Yes, indeed. Catnaps transfer 100%. You always keep them. Top donators keep them. Um, it's pretty much you just keep them. Now, sometimes the raffles may be a multiple catnaps, like a ticket is two catnaps or three catnaps or something like that. But that's for the good stuff, which is, you know, reasonable, I suppose. So if you just wants to know, do I got any of that free crack? Well, hopefully in uh, in about if we get another, you know, hundred and thirty dollars ish, hundred and forty in donations, we will have a free crack giveaway, I assure you. 
Genuine Vision says, you know it, I'm from Ireland, but I live in South Korea. Okay, that makes more sense. Plague Tower of Nurgle, one of my favorite conversions in the history of ever. Thank you for the follow. All right, let's go take a look at the overhead desk. Boom. I don't know what that timer's doing there. What are you doing? Get out of here, you're drunk. Let's put up another timer. No, I don't have it. Oh, well, that's fine. So we got about an hour and 15 minutes to go before we hand it over to, to Kenny. The uh, passenger car on the, <laughs> on the long war train. I know I showed you guys this on Monday, but I didn't really get into it too good. This is the um, Cheyenne dropship from Aliens, or Alien 2, whichever you prefer. It's a 20th Century Fox officially licensed product by Protos Games for the Alien vs. Predator game. And of course it has all the Whalen yutani Corp logos and things. It comes in a nice wooden box, straight floated across the ocean in one piece. It was very, very cool stuff here. Over here, you can see how it goes together. The little exploded diagram. So it's very true to the actual movie itself. It's very, very neat kit, to be quite honest. Now, I've done a full unboxing on this, but I just wanted to show you guys a few, a few of the cool parts about this. So it comes with a certificate of authenticity. They are limited edition. This is a review copy. All right. So in here, you can kind of see all the parts. Now this, the kit itself, lengthwise, is 17 inches nearly. It's like 16-ish. So it's about 17 inches long. It's 10 by six in wingspan. So it's it fits inside of a Thunderhawk, but it's bigger than a Storm Raven gunship. If you're looking, you know, at, at like. 40k terms. This is the main cockpit section here, which I think is pretty neat. So the cockpit goes right here. This is the, the fuselage and everything. Um, I'm not going to pull it out of the bag, but basically it goes kind of like that, right? It almost looks like a pelican almost. I wonder if Halo was inspired by this thing. So then what's really neat is it has these little flip out rocket pods, just like in the movie. Oops, this one's supposed to go first has a crossover on it of course I haven't put this together this may be a future giveaway on here depending on if you guys are digging the catnap giveaway or not so what's cool about this is once you lock the rear sections starting here and then believe it or not this isn't just this isn't all of it there's a tail section too here it is so there's a double tail section like this here it is. Nope, that's upside down. Nope, that was right. So that locks into there with these little studs. Kind of like that. So this little piece goes into here when you get it all locked in. But again, I haven't. There's, there's flash and stuff right here. So it's not going to quite work the way it should unless I do like this. Even then it might not even work. Oh, no, it does. Cool. Okay. So, the wings... Again, remember, this is purely dry fitting, but the wings flip out just like in the movie. Kind of like that. And then the cockpit's in the front. <laughs> How cool is that? It's pretty neat. I love... I, I really, really like this kit these flip down well anyways you get the idea there now it does have a ramp that flips down on um, there's struts and things this is n almost as wide as a rhino not quite but you could definitely put a rhino at the front of it and if they ever come out if protos games ever comes out with a uh you know the alien i forget what it's called the apc that ridley drives well i'm sure we will see some of that as well okay so we're going to put that bad boy away. I really dig this. And then the other thing I wanted to show you that literally showed up pre-Blizzard. Pre I don't know if we're, I don't know if we're allowed to call it that. But I got an order of bases here from Elric's Hobbies. 
these are the new uh, wood plank bases. Let's see if I can hold it up to you guys. Basically, they got wood wood grain on it, some rope. It's kind of like a almost like a dock of the bay kind of theme. We'll be unboxing these and show, showcasing these later. These are the cavalry size ones, but and then the big ones. Like if you play anything that has to do with the ocean, if you play any seamans, see what I did there. This is probably the base set for you, like Cricks, um, some maybe some other stuff in skirmish games, or I mean, you can even use guard and stuff. Here's a better look at it here. Lots of rope and things like that. This is the Night Titan size base. They got really good looking bases. They're all super affordable. They have amazing designs. Check them out. It's Elrix Hobbies. Uh, what is it? Elrixhobbies.com. They're out of Chicago. American company. They'll be at Adepticon. Great people. Love those guys. That's my show and tell. All right, let's check the comments. <laughs> I'll give you 200 bucks for it right now, LOL. Well, chances are you will, uh, you might just win it, Yuri, uh, with all the catnaps and things. Halo was inspired a lot by Alliance. Yeah, I could definitely see that with the Zerg and everything. Totally. Slusby's Gaming's here. Haha. <laughs> What's up, Dal? Alright, let's take a look at the gallery here. See what y'all what y'all brought us. Got some more stuff. Alright, alright. Viking teabagger with his cherry blossom tree peoples. Painted car by local G Dub stand manager who is a true pimp. Well, we love true pimps here on the show. Let's be honest. Rukin, Forge New Zealand in the future. Engine Seer Genuine Vision also in the future. All right, Viking Teabagger. Where'd you get that name from, Steve? Like seriously, like there has to be a story. I mean, I get the Viking part. You're, you know, our, our nice neighbors to the north. This is definitely early whip because I've seen whoa, <laughs> super intense close up. I've seen some of Jesse's stuff, and he gets he gets it a lot better. You know, this is this is how airbrushing goes. You airbrush it, it looks like this, and then you go and you tighten it up with some washes, some hyper highlighting, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, some basing even. This is a great start. Those colors really complement each other well. So he's done his homework on that one. There we go. That's a great looking car. Oh, you guys can't see it. I need to work on this. Really need to work on this window here. Give me a second. We'll make it better. We make it better. All right. I'm going to stick that right there. So it's always right justified at the very least. Best we can do. Final answer. Okay. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's painted well. It's got great green highlighting on all the skull areas and things. I like the blue. Obviously, that's a motif. Purple goes well with the reds. I almost feel like that purple is a little too bright for this model, maybe. Maybe it's just me. You could maybe wash it down just a second. Okay, I do not know who Viking Teabagger is then. I apologize. It's impossible for me to keep track of all these names and fake internet names. But it's definitely looking good. I'd even think about putting gold down there on the bottom of the death bells. I'm going to have to do that. I'll do some more homework this weekend after, uh, after we finish this tutorial. And then... Um, Maybe on Monday we'll finish up a base for Karn and be done with him and start on some Age of Sigmar stuff. Runekin. Oh, Zombie Dragon. Very cool. Such a great model. I love the conversion. 
Just like straight busting through a wall. Can't hide from me. And Forge New Zealand. Ooh, a Warp Talon. Look at that. Very good stuff. Blacks are looking fresh. Might need a slight wash. But other than that, I think it's looking great. That's the problem with black sometimes, you know, when you highlight it. It just gets, you know, it gets really gray. Like, you got to bring it down a bit. Soft body black's great for bringing that down. Nolan oil, of course. Very cool stuff. It's all really goes together. And Genuine Vision with his engine seer, engine seer. Oh, yeah. That's looking good. Look at all that brush work on the back. You're a maniac, dude. Very cool stuff. Definitely works together. It, the metal is, is very realistic. Like, it's hard to... I mean, it almost looks like you... Yeah, I think you did. You did, like, a, a different color of metal on some of the detail work. Or maybe you just did a different wash. It's hard, it's hard to tell, but you can tell the difference between some of the metals, too. A lot of people, they're like... They see metal, and they're just like, Oh, it's just metal. Like, some of my Iron Warriors, they're like, Oh, you didn't do any work. I'm like, dude, there's like... There's like five steps there on that metal, you know, like don't don't never overlook metal because there's a lot you can do with it and you still don't even realize it, you know, that's looking fresh, loving it. What is this? Oh. <laughs> ha. I mean, play Tower of Nurgle. Maybe maybe you'll be able to pull that off. I don't have nameplates here. My boss is a cat. She's a cruel mistress. She punches me in the morning to give her water. Mm -hmm. Alright, looks like we're caught up on messages. Cool. jump back into the paint desk hey look it's still there hey mr. backpack 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 <clears throat> clearly all of my friends have kids that watch Dora see a war brat All right, slide in here. Try not to bump everything all at once. Okay, so I reinforced this with a little bit more blue. This is what it looks like. If you haven't seen the poster tack, you can you can get this at Walmart. It's called Fun Tack, Mounting Tabs. It's basically poster tack. I'm not sure if it would stick to paint, so I'm not. We're not going to cross that road today, but kind of get the idea there. It's a. Uh, it's great for just basically locking things in, parts and different things. I do have a bag of Silly Putty somewhere. thought I had Silly Putty. Maybe not in this bag. But I have a bag of Silly Putty for doing airbrush work and covering things up. So let's take a look at this uh, skulls and see what's, see what's dried, see, what, see what's good. Looks like we got pretty good definition there. The eye sockets are nice and full. Yeah, I'm digging that. That worked well. And all of the gold trims looking fresh too. So basically, this is kind of how we're going to get the whole model at some point this weekend as we're snowed in. 
and then show it to you guys. So we're gonna take these steps here that I've already showed you and basically apply them over here. Maybe a little bit of detail work on this blue, but I'll walk you through that at some point. And then here's the metal. Already dried. So like I said, that little mix right there is definitely very similar to the old Devlin mod. And now granted it takes two pots of paint, 50-50 with a little splash of the flesh wash in it. Now that's not gloss, that's just straight. But uh, it does the Lord's work. I'm, I'm very I'm very much a fan of it. All right, so now that we got this good base of skull down, we're going to go in here and start highlighting things out. I'm gonna do the bone first, I think. Just because there isn't a lot of it and the gold trim is gonna be very easy to get to because it's all like sharp edges. So I think we'll be able to knock that out pretty quick. So the bone is Minoth White base with a Agrax Earth shade over top of it. Now we're gonna go back with just a little bit of this just to see where we're at tonality wise. Shake this up, this is brand new actually. Can't believe I blew through a whole bottle on one army. It's crazy. Grabbing my artificer layer brush. It's crazy. Oh wait, this is the dried out one. Nah, decoy. I'm gonna throw this one away. Get out of here. All right. Let's try that again. yellow poster tag. Haven't seen that one. Pre-orders up in New Zealand already. Hmm. Interesting. Cool. We will see it soon. All over the interwebs, I'm sure. Alright, so here's the bone detail here. It's such a P3 is such a great paint. Like you can you can add a little bit of water to this stuff and airbrush it as long as you keep it, you know, relatively contained. Don't leave your bottles open like a stupid person like I did. I'm just going to get in here and just check kind of where we're at on tonality wise, just hitting the edges. It's definitely brighter. Turns out people are really looking forward to this Cadia. Plastic Sisters? Who wants those, right? Psh, like nobody. A bunch of weirdos. Like pretty much everybody. Do you guys know that the uh, Trader Legion book is backordered along with Blood Bowl? The Death Watch Battle Force and the Sylvaneth Battle Force. Like, so popular. All right, so we're just going in and hyper-highlighting on the very edges of all those skulls. It's almost paint by number, like Kenny likes to say. Just got to use your head. You're literally just hitting the raised edges. But I'm trying to just give it a little bit of overlap so I can come in. And back here, you can see towards the very back is a lighter area, so I'm just going to hit that. Right? So I'm gonna leave a little bit of room to come over top and it might actually be too bright. So I'm gonna mix the next step up with this paint just so we don't get too bright. And then back here, you can kinda of see where we're at. All right, so we're doing lots, lots of highlighting. very lightly and remember paint is translucent it is going to dry differently than what it looks like right now shocker okay We'll probably have 
One more chance to look at the gallery. So if you guys got some work in progress stuff that you want us to take a look at or any questions about streaming, painting, etc. Obviously drop them in comments at Spiky Bits TV. Drop your pictures over exclamation point gallery. Take a look at them here shortly. Before we pass it off over to the west coast. Those crazy people living in the past, right? Okay, just hitting all these edges very, very so lightly. It's a little, it's a labor of love, but if you work it enough, it'll really give you good, good results. Kind of see it there. All right. So now. We're gonna 50-50 this with some Minoth White highlight. Of course, the highlight, right? Yeah, white candy boobs. Topo, Topo Doko. Probably destroyed that name. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. You've earned yourself one cat nap to throw at any of our raffles here on the stream. We're about halfway to a cat box giveaway today, which is uh, lots of fantastic models in that one. Somebody could win a Knight Atropos or a $150 Horus Heresy gift bag or $150 Space Marine gift bag. <clears throat> or maybe more. Maybe there's more to it. I don't know yet. There could be. I suppose there could be. And our big Night Porphyrion giveaway at the end I'm of the month. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. Arcas089. Thank you for the follow as well. Alright, so here's a 50 50 mix. I don't know if you can see it. Let's try to slide this down gently. Where is it? There it is. Right there. 50 50 mix of. Minoth White and Minoth White Base. Try not to get too crazy with it. We don't want to go too light. We can always build up to things and stop rather than come in too hot. And then, well, there's no erasers, turns out. So we're just hitting these raised edges right here. very tips of the raised edges. Try and get some definition on those teeth. Go across the brow. I'm doing my part. Down I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. Adeptus Astartes 4299, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. We are Peyton Karn, Mr. The Betrayer. Actually, his backpack. Because watching me paint trim is boring. Alright. Back to the other side. Just hitting these teeth ever so gently. Across the brow. Just using the tip of the brush. Always use just the tip. Let's face it. a very dark skull but I figure 10,000 years in the warp is probably okay many of you guys out there have weapons been in the military you know what's up you can't have nice things especially not for 10,000 years all right so I feel like that is good. All right, let's switch over to some metals. Let that dry. We got for messages. Ooh, where'd my message panel go? I hit it. 
All right, what do we got? Psychotic Jester, do catnaps. Transfer, yes. Do you have any of that free crack? Not yet. I want a new Typhus. Scarlet Horror says, I want a new Typhus with rules. CNSA plays a major role in Cadius Fall. It's true, Terminus S was there. I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. It'd be cool to see some Nurgle Cult Marines for sure. I think next to Corn, they're probably the second most popular. Alright. Let's do some of this metal. Let's get a metal highlight on here. So we did. The Flesh Wash. This was a uh, retribu Retributor Armor. And then we hit it with a Gloss Flesh Shade. So now we're going to come back over top with, let's see, what are, our, what are our options here? I feel like we got Liberator Gold, which you can tell they just added silver to make this a highlight, which is probably not that mar that far from the mark, to be quite honest. Shake this up pretty good. These are notorious for... Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright. Another good shake. Let's see what this looks like. It's like a nice... Whew. It's like a the ranch dressing of paint here and this is a looks like a very smooth paint definitely got some silver in it let's see what this looks like so what we're gonna do here is take our battered and abused artificer brush and we're just gonna use the tips hit around these edges here See what, see what happens. Probably coming a little hotter right here. Just using the edge of the brush to make that line. Hmm. I'm digging it. Cut back. Always in the same direction as best you can come down here hit the jaw gotta have a strong jaw look at that boom oh this is a great color I'm really digging it all right looks like we have a winner so like what I was saying earlier too, you know, like don't be afraid to try new things. If it doesn't work, you can always paint over it. See load letter. What does that mean? D Heth, thank you for the follow. There was a somebody else snuck in here. PC load letter. Oh. What does that mean? Mick McGoom? McGoom? Probably said that wrong as well. I'm pretty much from the south. I can't speak. I apologize. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. We're painting Karn. We're on some gold highlights right now. All right. Where are we at? Oh, right there. Okay. So like I said, um, you know, trying new things is always where it's at. Worst comes to worst. You can just restart the model, reprime the model, paint over the model, something. But don't be afraid to try new things because that's how you grow as a hobbyist. I learned something today. I was watching Mystic Scorpion stream. He took a pencil and put it in front of the airbrush almost coaxially. Almost like you would do with a pistol and a flashlight. And uh, sprayed mud like dots. Turned it into dots all every everywhere. It's crazy. It's great technique, loved it. So I'm just taking this fine detail brush, or artificer brush, whatever you want to call it, and 
it's just hitting the edges as best I can. They're slightly raised, so if you just use the tip to feel it out, just get in there and feel it out with your tip. You can't go wrong, right? True story. Don't quote me on that. I never said that. So that's all we're doing. Just hitting those ridges. Snugging it out. How'd you guys like to see this as a giveaway once I get it painted? I'm not really in the... I'll be honest. I'm kind of selfish when it comes to my miniatures. <laughs> I don't get to paint a lot. So when I paint, I kind of want to keep the mini. But maybe, just maybe, we could do a giveaway. That's it. We're just going over the edges. This is super easy. Again, just, just feeling it out with your tip. Paint it by number. Very easy stuff here at this point. The hard part is the base coat. <laughs> hard slash boring, but unfortunately super necessary. And just hitting all those raised edges. Boom. It does not get much easier at this point. That's why I wanted to show you this to actually make it look like we're doing something instead of just... I sat here and I painted gold trim for like two hours today just finishing up my homework for you guys. And I was like, so many mistakes on gold trim. I love chaos to death, but man, gold trim, come on dog. It takes forever. All right. Pretty happy with this. The only other thing I would suggest to myself is to maybe give it a glaze, like a super watered down Agrax over top of those skulls, just to kind of pull all that all that bone together. But I feel like once I matte coat it down, it's gonna be fine. So now I might want to just give another. I'm gonna try another crazy thing that I haven't done before. I'm gonna try this highlight color on the secret weapon paint. Uh, what is it? Rubber highlight. Because remember, we use that. That it's it's kind of thick, but it's tire black. It's a great color. That's what we base coated those wires. I'm kind of thinking this rubber highlight, right? Yep, feel out the tip with Robbie B. It's a it's a technical it's a technical thing. I can, you know it's it's just technical technical phrase. Totally not relevant outside of the hobby whatsoever. Chaos is de definitely death by edge highlighting for sure. I'm gonna shake this up because I haven't used this before. I want to make sure we get a good coat. Oh yeah, Thunderhawk Blue is a great color. Highlighting the black. Thunderhawk Blue um, is almost... It's actually... Let's take a look. I have it. Let's go dig it out. I used a lot of Thunderhawk Blue on my... Um, on my Ogres. I actually bought several of them because, again, Thunderhawk Blue is that crazy discontinued color. Um, well, not discontinued, it's just like not in every paint store's lineup, or every game store's paint lineup. Steganon. Oh, so close. This is my, obviously, very easy to use sorted system of paints, which is not easy to use. Here we go. So, this is Thunderhawk Blue. Just to give you an idea. So it's a, it's a lot more bluer. It's almost got a different tinge. But it's a great paint. Also Dark Reaper is good. Uh, as well. But. I really wanted to try out this rubber highlight. Because I feel like it's a combo. You use tire, you use, uh, tire rubber. We're going to go with rubber highlight. You know what I mean? 
So I don't know what this paint will do, so I'm going to be very cautious of it. I don't have robot hands. I don't know what it's going to do, so I'm just going to dab some out right here. Definitely looks not as thick as the tire black, so I'm, um, I'm already on board with this scenario. <laughs> Let's get, get a little bit of a drink here. Grease the skid, so to speak. Sapper Steve, so there is no escalation raffle tonight. Yeah, so I kind of changed up how we were doing things just because it seemed very ad hoc. Um, and I really wanted something that was kind of fun and interactive. That was like kind of why I was doing the whole uh, cat box thing. You know, like I showed you guys at the beginning, once we hit 250, there will be a special raffle where whoever wins will get to pick one of these cats, pink cat, white cat, or brown cat, and behind them is a prize. Uh, one of these is the Knight Atropos, like I showed you guys at the beginning. One is a $150 Horse Heresy prize pack, and one is a $150 Space Marine prize pack, of course. You know, all, all the good stuff. I'm not going to send you guys junk. I love playing Santa Claus. But, we got to get there. And, of course, there is a top donator giveaway as well, which is currently Yuri for the Plastic Custody Squad. So that's pretty pretty good. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to beat him on that one. Congratulations. You always keep your catnaps on that one. And, of course, everybody that donates tonight will keep their catnaps unless they use them for a raffle. And then, at the end of the month... Our super top monthly raffle will be for the Knight Porphyrion. So yeah, I kind of changed it up on you guys a little bit. But I wanted it to kind of seem like it was more interactive and more fun. You know what I mean? Uh, top donator tonight gets a Custody Squad. Right now it's uh, $50 to Yuri. But we'll be changing that up each stream to something different. You never know what that's going to be because I get all, all sorts of crazy stuff laying around here. Yeah, the sprue. Yeah, they're, they're the custodies on sprue. The kit. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to use this artificer brush. We're going to jump in here and we're going to grab... Hmm... Could maybe use this. This is an interesting, interesting scenario. Again, working those hobby muscles out. So this is a Windsor Newton Series 7 Sable brush, but this is a watercolor brush. Okay, so it's it's thicker. It's not for miniatures, right? Kind of see what what's happening there. But it's perfect for doing a little wet brush slash dry brushing. I know you're thinking, why would you ever try to ruin a brush doing that? But sometimes you just got to do things and just see if it sticks, you know? So we're going to take, and we're just going to dab some of this tire black highlight onto this Windsor Newton. Okay, I'm happy with that. Just kind of seeing what happens here. We're all learning together today. Just going over those coils nice and lightly. Like a, like a, kind of like a wet brush, dry brush, and you can see they, they're starting to pop. Boom. Pop, 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 pop. Look at that. Oh, it's fantastic. Loving it. Somebody is calling me. How rude. Don't even know who that is. I get random calls all the time like a car warranty that I don't have or like wanting to sell me a credit card I'm just like where do you guys get my number from this is a cell phone thought we had a do not call list all right just getting in there nice and tight dry brush hitting the peaks of the, the piping Got to hit that pipe. Flip it over to the back side. Again, this is almost like just using the tip just to hit those edges, but we're <laughs> just 
just raking it over the model here very so slightly to get that definition on that power on the power cables that turned out really good I'm happy with that boom and that was just straight out of the pot too it's not overpowering or anything like that I'm loving it all right let's switch it up because we've done about all we can do here this is most of the techniques that you're going to use to finish out Karn but we still got the flesh which we're going to show you today and we still got all this red which also needs a good highlight so we're going to have to do something about that before we get off here right so let's attack that real quick All right. We got some questions in here. Should I drop the Iron Warriors Automata Bodyguard on top Terminator? Oh, I bet. Those are mine. Psychotic Jester wants to know what I'm using to mount this to the base. Uh, this is actually a, a bamboo skewer for like, uh, I guess, uh, barbecuing or something and the dark spots right there are the blue tack I just showed you the block type fun tack stuff it's just been primed over so it's hard to tell what it is but yeah there's just a there's just a piece of uh, blue tack right there all right so we started with the bugman's glow which you can see right there okay And we're going to go in here with some watered down bugmans just to tighten it back up and then start highlighting it out because we want to oops, we want to keep that definition but we don't but we don't want to lose anything either you know what i mean like we want to keep want to keep the same color palette uh, it's a lot of material there so i feel like well, I'm just going to show you the versatility of this Artificer brush. So we're just going to get a little bit of this out, put some water with it. Somebody told me once to keep to thin my paints. They're probably right. Okay, so we're going to get in here. Stay out of the dark the dark recesses <laughs> stay out of the abyss and we're just gonna paint over top of it right now this is just basically just typical layer painting anything you'd find in a manual anywhere in the history of ever but we kept our paint water down we're being very thorough with our application of it we're using a good brush so we're getting a good effect which you can see right there. It looks a little washed out on screen, but then again, my screen might not necessarily be your screen. But we're hitting all of that right now. Remember, always pull the paint towards you. Boom. All right, now we're gonna flip it around and get these details underneath. In three, two, one. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? <laughs> Yuri, thank you for the donation, just in case. He really wants those custodies. Y'all have a great night, catch you all next week. All right, my man, take it easy. Stay, stay warm. Make sure you send me your address. I think I sent you stuff already, but just to be sure. Whisper it over. In case you win, I think you're going to win 
the top donator giveaway. What does high score mean? New high score, is that bad? What does that mean? <laughs> You're so good, you broke the game! Tim the Great, coming in with a $55 donation. Thank you, my friend. Uh-oh. The cat box giveaway is getting up there. You've only got about eh, $70 to go. And somebody might take home a Knight Atropos tonight. Thank you, Tim the Great. Stocking up those cat naps for the big Knight Porphyrion giveaway at the end of the month. All right, let's get back to this. Is this supposed to snow up there, Tim? I don't even know. I think I think the South's getting hammered. I don't think uh, you people up there by the Mason-Dixon line are in danger. All right. So we're getting underneath here. Getting on all the hands. We're getting all handsy. Who doesn't like a good handy? Certainly not. Not opposed to it myself. Alright. Now here is a neat trick. Again, we're just <laughs> we're just using the tip. Not to see how it feels, but to apply paint. I'm just gonna go over those rough edges in a perpendicular manner. Keeping that definition in the cracks of that wash. See it? It's really starting to pop. Now imagine Karn, being a veteran of the Long War, see what I did there, has been, has seen some things, some terrible things. But more importantly, he's been out in the hot, hot sun. So he's not going to be no elf flesh pansy. He's definitely going to be a darker, more rosy flesh gangsta, I feel like. So that's what that's what we're going with here. Plus, Bugman has a little bit of a uh... ha snow. I laugh at it. <laughs> well played, my friend. Stay icy. <laughs> this Bugman definitely has a little bit of purple in it, which is uh, fantastic. Now you're probably seeing all sorts of little details in here that I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to carefully watch those chains. And there's some little like nodes inside of his flesh. I guess he's into that sort of thing. What is that body modification? I guess that's what Karn's into, but. <laughs> but uh, we won't hold it against him. We'll, we'll make it look good. So there it is. Got all that nice definition in there. Boom. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, give me one second, Warcraft. It is HEW paint. It may not be one of those ones you can find. A lot of times the racks are different at different stores, but it's a base. Bugwind's glow. It's basically very similar to the old Dwarven flesh, but it's got a it's got a little bit of brown purple in it. So it's dope for this project here. It's definitely a good way to, to build up to uh, the elf colors but you can also kind of take it the way we're going with it right now. All right, so like I said, he ain't no pansy. <laughs> Karn don't play, he quit school because of recess, let's be honest. All right, so we're going with the Kislev flesh. Again, it's not that pansy elf stuff. Karn's seen things, he's seen terrible things. So we're gonna mix this 50-50. Actually, hmm. Hold up, we got a Kadian flesh tone. What's up, girl? Mmm, looking good. Ride. I'm way too big to drive to the devil's house. <laughs> drive, monkey, <laughs> drive! Aw, oh, Tim, thank you for the donation. You were just racking up those catnaps. You don't want to use something nice. Shoot.com. Did you say Jay and Saul Bob are quote fucking clown shoes? Yeah. Really? Ah, oh, one of my favorite movie lines in the history of ever right there. Gary the Fet Man. 
Yo, what you know about Fett? This guy. <laughs> Another classic movie line. Bruce Willis, Kevin Smith. Classic. Thank you for the donation, Tim and Gary. We are over $200 on the donation meter for the cat box giveaway. Remember, there's not poop in there. It's good stuff. It would be a shame to not give that away tonight. Only $45 left. I'll even throw in a shot of beast juice. All right, so I saw this Cadian flesh tone out of the corner of my eyes. It caught my eye. I'm way too big to drive to the devil's house. Drive, monkey, <laughs> drive! Sid Lick, thank you for the follow, and son of Bajorn, thank yeah, you for the this. donation as well. <laughs> yup. What's that? What's that? What's that? That uh, Star Wars, Storage Wars. Yup. When they're bidding for stuff, love it. All right, so Katie and Fleshtone, we're gonna mix it 50/50 with his Bugman's tech. That's how we get it done. I'm not gonna go too deep on it because I don't want to overpower the miniature. Remember. <laughs> You build up your progressions, and you won't be disappointed. If you go if you go too hot, it's hard to fix it. I don't know how to test for not enough paint, but I do know how to test for too much paint. It looks like poop. <laughs> so I'd rather work up to it. So, all right, so we're gonna add some of this 50-50 on a little construction paper here. See how this looks. It's all over the bristle, but that's okay. We'll make it work. All right, so now we're at an impasse. There is not any straight edges to highlight here. So we're gonna have to like straight get crazy with it. Forge New Zealand. Do we get the actual three, box as well? Because that's what I really want. One. <laughs> a cat box? Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? L-E, L-E-T-424 for Bugman's Bar. Excellent. On MovieProofShoot.com, I'm behind that. Did you say Jay and Saul Bob are quote fucking clown shoes? Yeah. Really? <laughs> I am Nurgle came in with a donation of $10 too. Thank you guys. We're getting there. $11 left. And I'll throw in a shot. <laughs> All right, so like I was saying, there's no raised edges here, so we gotta be super careful. So what I think I'm gonna do is, uh, uh, that paint already dried out. All right, remember, thin your paints. So what I think I'm gonna do here is try some striations, striations, I don't know. Again, talk. I'm from the South, I talk funny. So we're just gonna hit some raised edges here and just see how it does. With just a tip. I don't think I mixed enough Cadian in here. Hmm. Going back to that mix. Gotta make it look good. Alright, here we go. Come on. Okay. Just a tip. On MovieProofShoot.com, did you say Jay and Saul Bob are quote fucking clown shoes? Yeah. Really? Stay still. Thank you for the donation. You're a crazy person. I actually owe you money. Stop giving me money. <laughs> All right. So there's the striations. You can almost see them. They're starting to kind of dry in, so we're going to hit them again real quick. And there we go. Sometimes when I do in fine detail work, I forget to breathe. I actually hold my breath. It's almost like I'm shooting. Just remember, here in America, everybody's got guns. Duh. Okay. Not that it's right. It's just, you know, what we do. All right. Let's flip this over. Let's hit it with some more. Don't know if we're going to get... 611. I don't know if we're gonna get to the red, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna hustle here. You gotta give me a ride. I'm way too big to drive to the devil's house. Drive, monkey, <laughs> drive! 
Tim the Great came in with another $20 donation. Thanks, bud. I hope you win this cat box. I really do. <laughs> if not, I hope you win the Night Poor Furion. Or a cat box next week. Whichever. Either or. Alright. Okay. Now we're just gonna... Draw some more lines. We're just drawing lines with the tip. Again, I'm not sure you could do this without a fine detail brush, but this artificer seems to work pretty well. And get down here in his pits. His money pits of stink. That's where Nurgle lives. All right. Flip it over. <clears throat> Hit those hands. Excuse me. we're gonna do one more highlight probably just on the knuckles so I'm kind of going a little light on this I just want to build up that definition if we have to do it over multiple layers it's fine it's just hitting the edges and remember we started out airbrushing this model poorly at first because uh, Angron clear is a magenta so we had a pink Karn but we fixed it and now we're doing all the the highlight work, which is really, really ridiculous. Really, really ridiculous. A lot of people are like, yo, airbrushing's cheating, dog. No. Airbrushing and stopping's cheating. Airbrushing and keep going. Not cheating. It's just another tool in your hobby arsenal. So long as you, it saves you time actually to put in more of this detail work on the things that matter. Right. Cut back in. This Bugman's glow is really dark, so like I want to make sure that I'm keeping it the same consistency because I think we're gonna switch the straight Katie in here in a second. Finish her off. Okay. Pretty happy with that. All the way around. You see load letter? What does that mean? Load letter. Dash 272. Ooh, that rhymes. Thank you for the follow. You have earned yourself a catnap that is the channel currency, which you can use for raffles galore. We're about $10 away from triggering a cat box giveaway. Will somebody, uh, might take home a Knight Atropos, Knight Titan from Forge Roll. I'm not sure who, oh, it looks like Yuri is still in the lead with $65. The top donator for that custody squad on Sprue from the Burning of Prospero. All right, we're just going to go straight Cadian Flesh Tone. We're painting Karn today. We're doing it. I'm showing you guys the detail work. This is the uh, backpack. Yeah, why, can't you boobs? Redneck 028. Thank you for the follow. This is the backpack pretty much done. Minus the red details, which we're going to hit here in a minute. We did all the bone and everything. So it's a darker bone. It's a darker palette because, you know, he's a veteran of the long war. He's seen things. Terrible things. But I wanted to get some flesh action in on here for you guys. Now we're just going straight Cadian flesh tone. All right. And we're just going over those striations we just made. Because we don't have any natural highlights here. All we have is our tire tracks in the snow, so to speak. There we go. And I don't even know. I'm no muscle expert. All I got is hobby muscles. So I don't even know if this is real I'm muscles. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part, too. Mark92, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Hobby Rapport. 
we're painting uh, hobby muscles, I mean Karn's muscles right now. Alright, get back in here. Remember, always work smarter, not harder. I'm going to turn. Always be pulling the brush towards me where I have the utmost control. Right? Flip it around. I'm actually not too worried about the pits right there because nobody's going to see that. Sometimes you just have to forget about things. All right, let me hit all the, the knuckles and things. I am super happy with that flesh. It's the great palette. It's got purple in it. It's, it's got some brown in it. It goes well with the rest of the model right there. Now we're going to let it dry Why I edge some red over here. Actually, what time is it? We're going to have to save the red for Monday. And... Uh, Probably close this out with some work in progress and answer some questions here. Then we're going to kick it over to Hollywood, California and Kenny Boucher. The passenger car on this long war train of hobby goodness. Again, also we are... Oh, we went over. We triggered it. Who snuck in? Oh, Tim. Tim, went... Tim took us over the top. Okay, we got to do a giveaway. All right, so much to do in so little time. All right, let's switch. Yeah, I want to your boobs. <laughs> oh my gosh, Woot Van Van. I'm doing my part. Slap. I'm doing my part. Hold donk. I'm wow. doing my part too. That's a really interesting name. I love it. Thank you for the follow. Okay, let's go. First off, let's go check this real quick. We'll save the giveaway here for a minute. Let's see if we got anything else in here. Approve. Ooh, iron headed. You scamp. Look at you. Oh no, I deleted it. I hit the wrong button. Iron head, put it back. My bad. I'll wait patiently till you do it. Alright, what do we got? We are checking out cat boxes triggered. Yep, sure is. Whoa. Sapper Steve throwing some throwing some shade. I got you, dog. Just can't see that far. I got old people eyes, man. <laughs> um Yeah, Tim the Tim the Great uh, messed up and I guess he has two accounts or something. So we'll just give we'll give Yori something on the back side because I know he's not in here. I'll hit him up on whispers. Uh, Orc Pride, the cream in the oh Kenny is so the cream in the Oreo. Mmm, so good. All right, there it is. Iron headed. I am the worst. There we go. Let's approve that and not deny it. Hmm. There she is. Wow, that is some solid work, my man. Love the airbrush tones. Very, very muted. You definitely pick a tabard color that would go well with those grays, those bluish grays. And of course, I'm sure you're going to work up those blacks, uh, black purples. That is a great start. Such a good model. Such a good model from Forge World. Very cool. Thanks for sharing, bud. All right. Who else we got? All right. I got you, Sapper Steve. I'm just messing. <laughs> Purple latex. Mmm. Mmm. I'll say. Alright. So. How much time we got? Ten minutes left. Alright. 
Hood's gate, I see you. We're, we're good. Alright. <clears throat> so. Do the giveaway here in a second. So next week, on Monday, is the Armored... It's going to be Armored Assault Monday. We will have a bunch of Armored Assault on the cap box. Cap boxes to give away. We will work on some of the reds. And then we're going to get in here and do the base. And do some basing techniques. Um, this is... What brand is this? This is Secret Weapon Bever Beveled Desert Sands Bases. This is actually... Pretty much matches what I did my Iron Wars and all my Chaos in. But it just... It's super easy because it's already textured. And I'll have to, like, spend all that time texturing it. If you want to, you can always texture things like I did back in the in day. Three, two, one. Ugh. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? Yep. It's free crack giveaway time. Uh -huh. Dead Boxing 100, thank you for the donation. Pirate Juice, all right, yep, I owe you guys. Uh, what do we got? We got some here? Did I bring it in? We'll find it. So back in the day, for basing, I actually used uh, some, was this, like some sort of kind of sand and stuff and some really watered down glue. We didn't have resin bases back in the day. You kids and your newfangled resin bases, we also used washers to weigh down our miniatures. <laughs> so... I found a base that pretty much matches the way I used to do my Iron Warriors and all my Chaos. So we're, so we're trying to duplicate that. That's that Secret Weapon Minis one I showed you. We will paint that up for, for Monday. Show you some basic uh, basing techniques as well. All right, let's get our shot, shots going here. Shots, shots. All right, switch to going in close. Money shots. All right, let's get that. Show me your kitties. By the way, if you do not have a kitty cat mouse pad, you might be doing it wrong. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, we got the Beast Juice, which is also technically Pirate Juice, but it's all I have at my disposal. Oh, so many mistakes. So many mistakes. Cheers. Thank you for all the donations. Ah, delicious. Beast juice is the bomb. All right. <laughs> Clears out the old sinuses, too. Double duty. Let's do it. Cat box giveaway. Wait. Hold on. Before we get there, we have to determine who gets a cat box. All right, raffle, 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 raffle. Slideshow, slow fuse, there we go, boom. All right, lots of moving parts. Here we go, raffle. Okay, so obviously cat box. Alright, see you, Ironheaded. We'll be in there shortly. Cat box. Number one. The inaugural cat box. This is only a ticket cost of one. And max tickets will do ten. Just so everybody that's joined today has a chance to win. Alright, so we're going to start now. Exclamation point ticket space number of tickets up to 10 that you want to throw at this raffle at this cat box. Oh, you got Legos? I got a Lego kit for uh, for Christmas. I got the ATST from Rogue One, Evan. About a minute and 20 seconds left in this fantastic raffle. Then we'll kick it over to... Uh, so the box is your choice of 
well, you don't know what's behind the box, but there is a Knight Atropos. There is a $150 Space Marine gift bag and a $150 Horse Heresy gift bag. You will win one of those and maybe some other stuff too. We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. We'll see what happens when it happens. But something is about to happen in 42 seconds, so make sure you get in on this one. It's going to be it's going to be funsies. And remember, any catnaps you guys keep, you can throw at the end of the month towards the brand new Night Porphyrion Titan that we will be raffling off on January 30th for funsies and science, mostly funsies. 15 seconds left. Get those tickets now or forever hold your peace. PC load letter? What does that mean? <laughs> Valor Steel, thank you for the follow. Oh, I have so many messages open. I'm going to close some of these out. Close, close, close. I'll check all my whispers after the show. Thanks, folks. Let me get back to this. That's it. It's closed. All right, so we've got 40 entries. Let's draw a winner. Wait, let's close it first. Now let's draw a winner. 66 tech tickets entered, 40 viewers. Sorry, everybody that's entering after the time. You gotta get in before the two minutes. All right, let's draw a winner here. Hood's Gate. Boom! There it is. Are you ready? Are you ready for this cat box? Is your body ready? Hype that man up. He's got some decisions to make right now. He's got to pick a cat. He's got to pick a cat. Alright. Yes, this is happening. <laughs> Good job. Oh, you've already decided. All right. Well, that was, that was anticlimactic, but all right. Hold on. Let's pretend you didn't. Let's pretend you didn't pick. All right. So now, here's the rules. It's straight final answer time. You have to you have to pick a cat, pick a color, any color, and you have to say final answer. And that's who we reveal. Yeah, you gotta always go pink, to be honest. So Hood's Gate, what will it be? Give me a color and give me a final answer. Look at that smug white one. Oh, he's just he's just he's just chilling, dude. Drum roll, pink final answer. Yeah, I got you, Kenny. All right. The white one looks pretty smug. He does. He's he's a sassy cat. I used to have a cat that looked just like that. All right, pink it is. Let me find. Hold on, let me find the layer. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, pink cat. All right, you ready? Here we go. Oh, nice! You got it. You're an animal. He had a one in three chance, and you nailed the crap out of that. Boom. Hype that man up. He just won a Knight Atropos. Just like that. Here, I'll turn the other ones off so you guys can see. Boom. Look at that. Wow, I did a good job switching them. I slid them all around and I couldn't see it, but like there's, there's a little, um, they grab in the boxes, so it worked out. Nice. Congratulations. Welcome to Night Town, Population U. <laughs> Alright, so send me a whisper with your, uh, I am Nurgle, I will, I will, I will check it later, bro. I got you, dog. Um... Hoodsgate, send me a PM with your real names and your real addresses, and we will get that out after the snowpocalypse hits. 
Yep, five dollars is one catnap for a donation. So next week, let me give you a little preview. We will have uh, the armored assault stuff up in here. I still have, let me see. I still have... Oh, I'm still trying to find things. I don't know where this image is. Oh, here we go. It's in one of these right here. There it is. So we still have a Army Painter Mega Paint set to give away at some point. That was uh, that was my backup in case we like give away all this stuff, but that didn't happen. No, that's okay. And we will be giving away some of the Armored Assault boxes next week. It's Armored Assault Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern this Monday coming up. We will finish up Karn, and I think... We will preview the next project for next week. Um, assuming, you know, Snowpocalypse has not enveloped all of the, the south here. But I think it'll be okay. Alright. So let's take one last look at Mr. The Betrayer. Wow, how about that? The very first giveaway. Very first cat box giveaway. You get, you get you get the hotness. Oh, my Airbrush Studio just uh, hit that. Okay, so here he is. One last look at Mr. The Betrayer. Showed you how to do the flesh today with the striations. Uh, introduced that tire black, that great color from Secret Weapon Miniatures. Amazing. Showed you how to do everything but the red at this point on Mr. The Betrayer as well, right there. So next week, next Monday, we will finish up the red, we will work on some basing techniques, and uh, start on Project Age of Sigmar, and hopefully take that for a week. So thank you everybody that watched tonight. Let's go raid Mr. Kenny Boucher in Hollywood, California. Um, hold on, let's push some buttons. Buttons, buttons, buttons. Oh, let's get him out on the line. How about that? Everybody stay in here for one second. I'm going to call this bitch ass. Because I have that power. What's that, homie? Yo. East Coast, oh. West Coast. East Coast. Yo, Coast Commanders checking in right now. <laughs> Coast West Commanders. Co Yo. Hey, I am in the future. You are in the past. <laughs> but somehow through this technology, we're able to communicate in real time. I don't know. It's like it's like the internet. What's the internet for? What is the internet? What is the fucking internet? What the uh, fuck is internet? <laughs> I don't even know sometimes, man. I really don't. Yo, did you see that giveaway? I didn't see the end of it because obviously this is happening on my end. But how'd it go? Yo, so the very first pick was a Knight Atropos. He's oh like, my like, god, was that, who, who won it? Uh, Hoodsgate. He was like, yo. Hoodsgate, that son of a bitch. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> fucker wins everything. <laughs> he's like, ah, he's, he, he told me in the raffle chat, he's like, yo, uh, pink cat. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa slow down. And I, he's, like, he's like, no, I got this. And I was like, you have to say the color of cat in final answer. And he's like, okay, final, he's like, pink cat final answer. And I was like. You're not, you're not working with me here. All right, fine. And I was like, oh, there it is. Boom. When you started the show, I said Pink Cat always wins. That's like the first thing I said. I actually didn't know. I totally forgot which one it was because I mixed it up. I know. I, you know, using the little, the little, uh, what do they call those, catches? I don't even know. Whatever. But, man, I was I was so stoked. I was like, wow, you just won. Awesome. And and I got shots, so everybody's in, everybody's doing well. Because real quick, <laughs> I just got some. Uh, looks like my man Juicebox just redeemed on Revlo, yeah. And I feel like he wrote his entire address in the chat box, so the whole world knows where he lives now. New South Wales, <laughs> yo, bro. <laughs> yeah, hey, if I, if I ever need to travel to the future, I'm coming to New South Wales, yo. Literally, that's on you, homie. I didn't make that mistake. <laughs> that's uh, he was very, yo, he was, he was if somebody comes to New South Wales, that's because that's because of you. 
He was obviously oh, very excited. So, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Kenny. Yes. Pr prepare to receive my load. All right. I'm always ready for it. <laughs>